buddy, make sure that you freeze up and don't say anything for the cold open. That's just kind of rude. We were trying to do a good hearted. No, I'm just gonna stop. And trying. you just had to. You, you just had to go be a a, a, a meanie. I'm apparently missing my D4. He my makes all the people sad because he's sad inside. <clears throat> yeah, it makes so much sense. I'm not sad inside. I make other people sad because that makes me happy inside. <laughs> It's the exact opposite of what you said. And he's oh, sad that, because uh, he oh, eats, uh, and he eats because he's thing. sad. He's sad and then that yeah, too. Sorry. He's Sorry. so sad all Sorry. the time. He's got to make other people sad so he can be a little less sad. And that's sad. sad. I mean, that's just not true. <laughs> I love Duncan so much. <laughs> like the most cinnamon roll of all of the cinnamon rolls. I tried to make a cinnamon roll, and she ended up being punched. <laughs> Like all of my characters. But you legitimately made I am, a cinnamon roll. I love Here's that. what I want to know. Are you happy being a cinnamon roll? Because you've never been anything close to. <clears throat> no, I haven't been this before. And it's, it's quite nice. <laughs> I do I do like it. I've been working on some... I'm getting ready to... to uh, um, i got to remember some toasts for when we're drinking. Nice. And it's going to be nice. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Hey, everyone. Hey, internet. Oh, hey, there. Four. How um, are you now? I'm crossing. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Let's get a quick recap of what happened last week. Um, there you go. We had, we had the, uh, I, I think, second to last day of the festival, right? It was. Yes. Second to last day of the festival was uh, feast day. And Bagby had the idea that the goblins should have something there. So she got uh, pork hey. To make a big old pot of stew. Um, so and onion stew is delightful. Onion stew, yep. Um, and uh, she, she, she got some carrots in it. Very rudely asked all of us to help her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I uh, was very sweet about it. Thank you very much. Uh, she asked us to help almost her. So didn't start the axe. <laughs> I almost didn't. I had to work my way into it. Okay. It's true. Um, Sometimes it takes a couple holding. sentences before it really catches on. That's very true. <clears throat> so we helped her get the. Uh, we were moving the pot there, and there was a commotion over where the food was. The cauldron, not the pot. I said be, what I said. To be fair, <laughs> no, you don't know it was in my pocket. <laughs> it's mostly Joseph. He lifted it. It's quite strong. Uh, you guys helped. You were you were giving directions. Oh, so I, I helped. helped. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, come on, this way, this way. <laughs> I was all but offering to turn into a pack animal to help move it, but it turned out we were fine. Just shout out to Twitch community for the uh, retweet on us going live. Yeah. Hey! Ooh. All um, right, all right, all right. So, thanks, uh, Jeff. That's great. <laughs> Jeff from Twitch community. <laughs> sure. Uh, Could, be. Could be. So anyway, we we get sure. to the food where the commotion oh. is, and uh, there it's the food itself is being attacked by six uh, puppers that. I think Ori identified as blink dogs, which blink are dogs? just basically fairy dogs that teleport. Um, First, they're not supposed to be I there. I like the way you no. said fairy. Second. Fairy. Should I say it differently? They're not supposed to be in this plane of existence. They're, they're, fae. they're <laughs> from they're the fae. They're not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, then, you're trying to say they don't belong time. here, like then? The, like how some people say they don't like the way you said fairy. I don't like the way you said fairy. I made their presence happen. What are you talking about? The point is they were just hungry. Yes, um, and so we, uh, Ori had the great idea to turn into a cat Unlikely and ran away, Unlikely. <laughs> um, it, which I mean, almost got him killed. But he, he managed to uh, use a good entangle spell and caught three of them, which is pretty impressive. Um, and then the other ones we subdued, uh, Duncan and Bagby subdued with the uh, food. I think mostly. Uh, you didn't kill any of them. And a warm heart. And a warm heart. Yes. And so we, uh, I, I went over to help Ori, uh, Joe went over to help Ori, and uh, realized that his tree was on fire. So we went over there to figure out why the hell his tree's on fire, because my house is right next door. And we found Ori's dad, who was uh, getting blazed on some fey weed, and that was causing fey creatures to blink into existence. Um, we managed to nurse him onto some less 
reality altering stuff. And, <laughs> Literal uh, reality altering yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, and then the rest of the the rest of the day was kind of just uh, talking to uh, Ori's got dad so about high. it. <laughs> um, Ori's dad is a guardian of some variety and is incredibly powerful, apparently. So that's kind of scary, um, but he seems like a pretty chill guy, so not too worried about it. Oh, and, and uh, Jacobs didn't like him at all. Yes, she has uh, history with him. So do you. And Joe, too, apparently. <laughs> My father. And Duncan in the future. <laughs> we, don't slut, we don't slut shame across him. It'd be uh, better if you just. You know, acknowledge your feelings for her. You just, you know, tell her how you feel. You keep doing this, I'm going to give you a fake PhD. <laughs> Which oh, would be more won't. real than the one Dr. Phil had. Uh, <laughs> nice. I saw Dr. Phil's son perform in concert this past weekend, and he was very bad. <laughs> what did he... Like, as a singer or as yes. a psychologist? <laughs> no, he was an opener. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's in a band. He is the band. Oh, he it's the, just him? Mm-hmm, it is him and then, like, backup singers. But He's got cymbals on his knees, he drams a kazoo up his ass, and he plays a guitar. So yeah, you know like what? A I drum probably he would have enjoyed that feet. more than his actual music. Hmm. Take that, Dr. Phil's son. He is not the Jonas Brother. He, he opened. opened for the Jonas Brothers. Like, he was the opening for the opening of the Jonas Brothers. Yes. Because BB Rexa was the real opener, and she was very good. BB Rectum? What? BB Rexa? <laughs> Oh, she's real pretty to listen to and look at. Mm-hmm. Okay. She does a lot of EDM singing, actually. Mm-hmm. A lot of her songs have like major DJs. Do so is it like? The top of is it auto tuned or? No, no. Okay. She's not. Just she has a fucking yeah. phenomenal voice. Yeah. Holy shit! Uh, you guys have long rest. Okay. Oh, good. I don't remember if I did that already. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Probably bring up my character sheet. That does. Is that live, by the way? I don't know if that's called. Nothing. It is. You're live, you're saying? No, I'm just looking for the overlay. Oh. It's really weird not playing a caster and having to redo my spells every time we have a long rest. It doesn't auto do that? No, I don't have spells. It auto Like, I'm not that. dead. Yeah, I just hit long mm-hmm. rest right here. Yeah. And it auto does it. But, like, I don't even have to hit long rest because nothing happened. Oh, but I mean, when you use key, you do. Yeah. But All right. Didn't. But you didn't use anything. I did nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> the next day goes by, the last day, and it's always bittersweet for the town. It's a big blowout, um, which is good. The reason the festival hasn't been extended to try to bring in more money is because, frankly, you run out of stuff to sell and food, you know, food and drink to hand out. Um, so, while the heavy income that you all, uh, that the whole town uh, receives during this time is, while it's pleasant, uh, it's always a bit of fresh air to get back to the norm and just enjoy being a quiet fishing village nobody visits again. It goes from breaking up a fight every night for Crucible to maybe once a week. (laughs) Mostly Steve. Yeah, mostly. Well, Steve's actually, he doesn't get in a lot of fights, but he does get beat up a lot. other people wanting to fight Steve. (laughs) He does get beat up a lot. (laughs) Um... I don't know why anybody would want to fight Steve. You'd run the risk of getting his sweat on him. <laughs> he does have a stink. Um, and that day went fine. No nonsense whatsoever. <coughs> I would like all of you. We'll start on the left. Actually, everybody except for Bagby. The four of you. No, don't. It roll a d100. Yep. Oh, not one of those. Borrow one for you. It's just mm-hmm. two tens, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, d100. Decide. Sometimes which one's you have the tens, ten. Which ones? Yep. One. Yeah, you, you got it. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. Uh, 79. Mm-hmm. 79. Yep. 47. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 38. <laughs> Which? I got my second favorite number, 87. It's fucking irrelevant. So I rolled a 79. Okay. You won, Bob! In the raffle! You won, Bob! I'm not joking, I rolled a fucking 79. <laughs> I'm That's like, awesome. I'm just gonna roll. I'll, I'll give him a chance, but there's no way in hell. He won, Bob! Fuck, I should have bought a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> now, as the also, you live in a shack next to his house. What are you gonna do? Um, Bob's getting eaten. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe you would set him free. I, I considered it, but I think Bob. It's more a uh, symbol, uh, sim- symbolic thing for the village. Symbology. So the, look, what is the symbology of it? No, <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna have him cooked up by a spirit of Mara, and just anybody that wants some, as long as there's some available. Oh, that's sweet of you. I'm a nice guy. There you go. Pigs like them. They make good house pets. Maybe you should just, I don't know. Gonna have some. He's, have a pig. He's huge. <clears throat> he eats more than I do. Yeah, I think it's about time we all had some barbecue. Also, they ch- I char- said at the beginning, I'm eating this pig. They're charging <laughs> free copper to get in the door to have some of the pig. Okay. And uh, Do I get some of that? <laughs> ha- yeah, half they take, half you take. They're splitting it straight. That's pretty generous of them since they're doing most of the work. Yeah. Well, you want it. That's true. That's, it's the thing. They're just, you know, charging for the effort. So... I guess I'm gonna have to figure out how much fucking money you're about yeah, to make. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't imagine it's much more than like ten gold. It's I mean, like a four hundred pound. How many people are in crowds then? Oh, I guess it's still a festival, so there's still. There's still. The I mean, it's it's not it's not the last day, but it's the day. It's the morning after. It's the day after. The, well, the last day you want it, so you could have done that, it. The that's that's what day. I was thinking, like a finale. Yeah, it's probably seven eight hundred people roaming around town and if they all wanted to come over for three copper for a full pork dinner okay i'll let you do the math on that then um get there early though yeah that's when the bus cuts are there because if you go too late you get, the you get all the you get the <laughs> anards and the hooves they don't like the anything 10 50 so that's 1000 50 copper? 1,050 copper. 100 so gold. 100, 100. 50 gold. 100 gold. 5 silver? Yeah, you can just say 100. They can keep the 5 silver. All right. 100 gold. So, You're rich. Cool. <laughs> oh, Skeddies, have you not been in on this stream yet? That is Ori. He is a half elf. Okay, there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Karen. The, uh, She'd like to air? speak to your manager, please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh-huh. that is an unfair Skating stereotype, chair? but I would like to speak to the manager because I was assured that they would save me a pickled pig's foot. <laughs> it, it, they didn't pickle any Why? When would we pickle it? He was wearing the feet until just a bit ago. <laughs> you had time. Over 700 <laughs> people came through here and got some freaking ham chocks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might have pickled pigs at the, being, at, like, the, saved. Uh, at the end, they were just chopping up the face and giving it to people. It, that's a thing, like the head face meat. No, head cheese is uh, brains. Brains, no. isn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, people do eat faces of pigs. Well, head so cheese is an amalgamation of meat. Ground off. Yeah. It's not actually cheese. <laughs> no, and they just all put in a bag and it's tied real tight. Mm-hmm. And then they mm. age it for a while, and then oh, come, come, you know, they all. They just had nothing to at this eat point. in Northern Europe in the Middle Ages, basically. They ate everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Dude, if it was that or star, you'd eat it too. Yeah. So, beginning of the next morning uh, is what the locals always refer to as the Grand Exodus. Anybody who hasn't, hasn't already left leaves, and it's gets dead and you start to see how much dirt and grime they've <coughs> left in their wake. Literal shit in the streets. But you know, life is going on. <laughs> We're gonna have to leave out a lot of food for the goblins to clean all this up. <laughs> I feel like this is the worst week as being a goblin. That like, It's really terrible. It's <laughs> really terrible. So much work to do. The rest of the year is totally fine. <laughs> It's the inverse. The Helmies love it. You guys, it's you get 
you get some blankets. <laughs> can I can I say that I gave Bub's collar to Crucible? Sure. Okay. Since he named him. <laughs> Are you upset, Crucible? No, I'm not upset. I mean, that's a that's a circle of life going on right there. Uh, but you know what? I I will wear it as a bracelet. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> How, how big is your fucking wrist? <laughs> I mean, it's a, <clears throat> he's actually pretty lean. <laughs> he's pretty lean. Wrapped around twice. Yeah, seven yeah. hundred times. Yeah. 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 So uh, he actually creates a whole bracer. Pretty big. <laughs> As he, you know what? I'll wear it as a belt. Yeah, you can wear it as a belt. <laughs> there you go. Bub, Bub was a big boy. Yeah. Um, Do I have time to go out and gather some oysters or something? For the you can go fishing if you'd like. In the morning, maybe. Sure. Uh, roll, survi- roll survival. Up. Get it ready. Roll survival. All right. The roll survival. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, the priest finished his uh, emblem. Modified on. twenty. For what my is survival. It? Lindor Candies chocolate. Of sorts. Candies. Various chocolates. They're all good. Well, I'll have one. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Want to gather up a nice batch of fish. <clears throat> That for the goblins for that night, and that's come and clean, clean everything. Mm-hmm. That yeah. went better than I expected. Yeah, it, it almost did. <laughs> it, it almost did. Yeah, I saw that. I had yeah. to catch it. So you're looking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some some flew lower than the others. <laughs> that was smarter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the um. It, anybody else like to do anything? Yes, I'm sitting in my shop by myself. I would like to further inspect the piece that my father handed over. And it's kind of... Iron, it's getting the fiery weed. I'm, I'm inspecting. I am not partaking. Not stupid. Uh, Get a contact okay. guy. I guess roll Arcana. <laughs> Oakley, Oakley. Yeah, it's an eleven. Uh, no. You, however, because of your <coughs> choice, you don't recognize the scent or anything therein. It does not smell like no better now. The, <laughs> what I would normally think it would smell like. Okay. Yes. Or anything that you have previously smelled. Can, well, uh, okay, I, that was inspecting. Pipe. Can I do a separate roll with nature or oh, anything well, like sure. that to uh, inspect the contents of said pipe? If not, that's cool. Uh, um, the, the, you just tried to do that. What? He was he's looking at the pipe earlier. Now he's looking at the weed. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can only get here. I mean, you just uh, it's fine. If that's if that's nature, that's still a little weapon, so no, it's a wash. No worries. Okay. <clears throat> Crucible? Okay. Yes. Does there happen to be a uh, library of sorts in the fair town of Crasden? Um there's two not no, there's not a library, but there's two I mean like a place so I can you know, check out scrolls and stuff like that. Do there, a little research. The uh the uh Church of Sun uh Sundine has a uh, uh, uh wait let me look it up I might have fucked this up no one you're not it's probably a bit of indica <clears throat> something like that indica the scene well any metals you have huh you know, he puts on that facade, but I would think because he he does, he's a lot uh, he's a lot brighter than he lets on. I think he might be doing probably more sativa to get like more of the heady. <clears throat> really? Yeah. He hides it good. I'm saying. So, uh, sorry, saloon. It's a saloon. Yeah, I'm not sure saloon. how much of that is real. S E L, saloon. Yeah. 
Are we talking about the goddess? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> goddess of the moon. If you go, if you go there, and, the, and you go behind the beaded carton, mm-hmm. that's where they keep the sexy scrolls. I don't know what that means. Dude. <laughs> no, and <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite of improv here. There it is. A- There's also a collection of uh, historic, like historical uh, records at the uh, council. Chambers. Yeah, essentially, what uh, what he's trying to do is he's, he's got this uh, cylinder with the runes on it, and he's mm-hmm. trying to he's trying to figure out what the runes say, basically. Sure. Um, and <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, y- you could try either. You don't speak the language, so. Well, I know that I tried to read it, and I couldn't read it before, so that's why I'm trying to do the research. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the Church of Saloon and uh, see if uh, there's anything there that can point me in the right direction. Okay. Mm. Well, candy wolf nuts? I one was cherry. <laughs> oh. The church itself... Is fairly small. No, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Ooh. I'm good, I'm thanks. Okay. Um, it's uh, tucked in along the street over here. It looks small from the outside, however, <coughs> uh, it's very dug in <coughs> to the cliffside. Revealing a much larger uh, <clears throat> area. Whatever. That's like logic. I know you so much about church. Larger and it's larger than you think. The site? Huh? The word for area. Yeah, it's basically the only pra- widely practiced thing in town. Maybe a couple hundred people visit on a weekly basis. I'm sorry, you said this was the moon goddess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Moon and tides. <clears throat> Does it happen to be open? Is it open 24-7? Open all the time. Is it only open at night? Nope, open all the time. All right, well, I decide to go there. Okay. That's where I go. I walk in. I open the door. Um, yeah, uh, going in, you see the normal couple of... Uh, uh, it's run by basically three... Priests, one's actually in charge, the other two kind of do busy work day to day. Um, and they just kind of mill around. They're, you, you walk in, they, they're just kind of, you know, doing general cleaning and <clears throat> just keeping the place up. Uh, well, greetings, friends. Uh, I wonder if you might be able to help me out with something here. Do you go to the church? Well, I just went to the church. No, I mean, like, not to this church. On a regular basis. No. Okay. Um, uh, Roll to see if you know these guys very well. These buildings like the TARDIS. It's bigger. Six? What am I. It's. What am I rolling for, though? Uh, No, it would just be uh, intelligence. Six. Basically. Yeah, you, you can't recall their names mm. off the top of your head. <clears throat> Strange, since I know almost everybody in town. They don't ever really leave the church all that much. And so, can I call you Bob? Like, not like you're a rusting priest, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> no, Bob, not Bob. <laughs> uh, so, my, Father Bob. My name's Peter, sir. But all right, Pete. C- C- Constable? Uh, I wonder if you can help me out here. Anything. Uh, yeah. Uh, I happen to come across this here, uh, cylinder. I'm not sure what it is, but it's got these runes on the side, and, you know, I, I don't read it. I, 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 I mean, I could read. I just don't read this language. So, uh, wondering if maybe you've seen this language before. Maybe you can help me out, even if you know what this thing happens to be. May I? And he holds his hand out. Oh, of course. I don't recognize the wording but you know what the this top bit here 
This looks familiar. You notice that you notice towards the uh, the end he's talking about. Um, while there's still runes on there, there is like an overall etching, and he points out sort of like a design. It's hard to see because it's wrapped around the thing, right? Uh, but it looks like a 2D image sort of wrapped around this cylinder. I, that seems familiar. I, hmm. <clears throat> Maybe there's something in the back. Uh, come with me. All right. We like to keep the records open for anybody who would like to use them. I, I've noticed that you uh, don't come to the uh, mass. This morning. Are you at all interested in uh, uh, our uh, silver lady? You know, I'm I'm perfectly happy with my own religion. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, no, I don't mean to push. Just yeah, it takes you into a room to, uh, um, off to the side of the main <laughs> worship area, <clears throat> and uh, it's basically uh, and he takes you down into a cellar. Um, little that has a uh, furnace in it of sorts. It's basically a big fireplace. And you're in sort of like a scroll records room. It's not very big. And you know the purpose of the fire is to keep the room dry. Basically. From, I mean, you're right next to the sea. The water gets in there and destroys It's going to destroy everything. So yeah, it's like a little... Fired seating area with uh, uh, only a handful, <laughs> maybe four or five shelves. It, um, I don't know where to start, really. Uh, I guess. Oh, I was just reading. I know. I know oh. that's there. It. I think it's a symbol, a holy symbol. I'm certain I've seen it before, but. I, it was years ago at this point. I, you know, they teach you all the studies in seminary and <coughs> you don't hang on to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> are you at all interested in the seminary? Huh? Can I tell you more about the seminary? Are you all at all interested? No. I am not. Well, do you mind if I just start uh, digging in here? I mean... Oh, I'd, please, I'd... absolutely. Uh, just um, try to... Uh, be gentle with some of the older scrolls. Oh, you'd be surprised. Uh, you know, I, I, I may look like uh, I could, uh, you know, just break things and rip them apart, but I'm actually yeah. a very gentle person. You do. You definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah. So, He's like uh, looking up two feet above him. <laughs> yeah, but uh, just know that, you know, I'll take extra care here. Absolutely. Uh, uh, I'll also go tell Father... Uh, Claren, that you're here as well. He generally rests during this period, but he would be interested. Well, excellent. Then uh, I'll let you be uh, on your way, and I'll I'll uh, just help myself here. Then. Yeah. All right. I, okay. <laughs> he wanders <laughs> off. All right. So that's what I do for a while. Okay. Um, occasionally. If you I'll want to cut. Yeah, occasionally I'll have you roll uh, a wisdom save, I think. Would There's be. investigation. Investigation, yeah, investigation would be the way to try to match it up. And if you have an idea to make it quicker on your end, that's fine. Anybody else? Have, I got a quick thing. Mm -hmm. Is there a weapon shop in town? Yes. <laughs> or a blacksmith? Something there's like a blacksmith. Um, it's both. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, there's a blacksmith. He's not particularly talented, he, but he does, because right. he does a lot of work on, you know, the. Anchors, anchors, yeah, and, and like yeah. you know, pulleys for rigging, and um, probably makes a lot of nails. Yeah, makes a <laughs> I mean, really, of nails, yeah. Uh, but uh, does have a small collection of weapons. Okay, sure. I'd like to go there. Okay, what's the uh, what's his name? Clarence. Hi, <laughs> right, Clarence. How you doing? Hi, right. Joe. What's up? Well, I was out hunting those son of a bitch geese a couple days ago. 
and I realized I didn't have a good way to... I knew that was you that put that one on the pike at the front of town. <laughs> I can't confirm or deny. Um, that literally happened last week. I, <laughs> there's more to it than that, but yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any uh, anything pointy I could throw at things that are far away? <laughs> like, uh, like a knife on a stick, something like that. Well, they're generally referred to as spears. Yeah, but I was thinking more throwy. Yeah, you can throw a spear. Okay, I was thinking javelins. <laughs> I was thinking javelins. Okay. But <laughs> or a javelin, yeah. I guess. <laughs> uh, do, you got, do you got a few of those here? Not handy, but I think I have uh, I, the, a pattern for it in the back. Take me a couple days, but I could put one together. Okay. How how, would it, how much would it cost to make uh, two of those for me? <laughs> Is Clarence gonna have a Clarence sale? Oh God! Go home. <clears throat> I like my coin to joke better. <clears throat> what? What? Oh, come on! <laughs> 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 come, come over there, you son of a bitch. Uh, you got up easy. You didn't do anything when you made one. That's because mine was good. <laughs> <laughs> was it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, time spent, you know, resources, uh, d- uh, two gold. Sounds more than reasonable to me. Uh, if you want to make those, I'll come back in a few days. Sounds good. Hey, I was wondering, you ever think about having a sale of some variety? <laughs> if you say it, I won't make them. <laughs> okay. Have a good day, Clarence. Enjoy any sales you may have in the future. <laughs> I hate you. I like, actively hate you guys. All right. Uh, anybody else? Oh, did you roll for your fishing? Modified 20. Modified 20. Very good. What were you looking for? Uh, <clears throat> well, I felt like my boat was in the sh- was uh, you know in dry dock, so I was probably going to go out to the shores and do some diving and find some I don't know some shellfish, perhaps okay. some clams, maybe some. Okay. We'll roll athletics for fun. <coughs> Remember, you get your racial benefits as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What would, be, what would be the size it was? Because I'm uh, good at swimming. I can swim quickly. Plus two, it's, it's just plus a swim three. speed, right? Mm-hmm. It's my swim speed. Oh, so yeah. You, you like do regular movement speed. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take that two gold out. I'm going to say I paid him. Modify 21. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're able to put together. <laughs> what what is it? Stick out. Clarence, do count? Stick out. Stick out. Clarence, just count. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, um, yeah, you're able to put. Uh, uh, we'll say a little. I like that. Some clams and some crabs yeah, and yeah, a little shrimping basket here. Like I like. Perfect. 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 I hope you were planning on sharing those clams. Otherwise, that would be awful shellfish. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I will choke you out live on stream. <laughs> They're for the goblins when they come to clean them. <coughs> They're not for you or for me. I hate you guys. Why well, do you hate him? I that is listen. Nothing. Y- y- y'all keep this up. I'm gonna get rather oysterous about the situation. <laughs> I guess that's it. I gotta clam up. <laughs> hey, if you get up again to punch someone, just don't pull a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> He's always, so cra- He's always so crabby. He's always so crabby. I was gonna ask if that one was gonna be too obvious. No, Morgan wins. That was a pearl of a joke. Fish. Anyway. Fish. <laughs> You're all full of abalone. <laughs> Boo. Now we're all trying too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, do you have anything? 
I don't think so. Okay. At this point in time, we would probably all be sleeping since mm -hmm. we have to go up at the night time. Mm -hmm. That's dependent on, yeah, if you have other things you want to do. But yeah. I mean, you bas basically all of you operate on opposite hours as them, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I but if you want to, you know that you operate on opposite hours, so if you wanted to go up top, you would have to mm -hmm. fuck up your sleep schedule. <laughs> it's not that bad once you get used to it. No, it's fine. I just suffered jet lag for a couple days. It's not a big deal. What are jets? Uh, um. Oh, you simple little homie. You haven't gotten there yet. It's fine. Yeah, you got a lot of jets underground. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on designs. <laughs> yeah, they're great in those uh, jacuzzis they have. No, <laughs> they probably do have jacuzzis. We actually could, don't yeah. have those. <laughs> that's <laughs> canon. We have jacuzzis. I mean, that's canon now. You're just if we've got fairies that like automatically go from one place to another, I could believe that more advanced goblins have jacuzzis. Okay, well, just let's keep the homophobia to a minimum. <laughs> the um, <laughs> Patrick. I'm gonna call them Ellen Barges now. That's a good call. <laughs> Modified twenty. Oh, uh, that's very very good. Actually, you found it pretty quick. As soon as what gives you the idea is the <clears throat> when he says it's a religious symbol. So you start looking for you're <laughs> you're just looking for pictures. You you're not reading through anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're just taking rough scan and seeing if anything sort of matches. It's like a Xerox printer. Me, <laughs> me, <laughs> <laughs> and you find it pretty quickly in a a list of um, benevolent deities uh, practiced in the area. It's uh, not. Uh, it's more of uh, an account, like letters, uh, former letters of a former priest. Of Sulin, uh, finding some worshippers of somebody by the of a deity by the name of Gorm Golthian. That's G O R M G U L T H Y N. Uh, <coughs> the uh, priest in question. Um, said it was interesting because uh, he found a group of a small group of uh, orcs living in the uh, uh, the steppes that's the collection of small islands off the coast um, that were worshipping this and what was interesting about it is that it's a uh, a uh, good Generally, a uh, generally aligned good dwarven god. He said uh, the account goes on to say no idea why they would be uh, worshiping a dwarven god. They were orcs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the lot of small orc tribes and villages live out in the water out there um, uh, in in the steppes. It's fairly known. He uh, said that these were a little more isolationist than the other um, uh, loose clans, but they were nonetheless friendly. All right. You can continue to read through it if you'd like and spend more time on it. Uh, probably not because I would need to know the. I would need to understand the runes to know what the thing is supposed to do, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Um, but I wouldn't mind seeing if it does. Get, it does have a picture of the. If you'd like to look at the. Yes, please. I'm thinking it's it's just a pipe bomb. This is what's wrapped around. Ooh. 
It's just a mask. Mm -hmm. Ornate mask with uh, flames in the eyes. Philip. <clears throat> I think you and I need to trade Here places. We tape. Here we go. No. <laughs> Bad. You're gonna put an eye out with that. It's all right. He's wearing safety glasses. Well, fine. yeah. For this campaign, I have many props. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think I have to do further research. The only thing I might want to do is see if, uh... I'll boop you on the snoop. See if Father Claren has, uh, woken up from his nappy nap. And, uh... Just to see if, uh... He recognizes, uh... Not necessarily what specifically it is, or but what it could be. Okay. If you're thinking of writing a pun. Um... Don't. You already did. Do you head upstairs wait for This one wasn't gonna be a pun. Yeah, I head oh. up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if he's not awake, he's not awake. Time. I don't want to. I don't want to bother him. No, you head up. And he's he's them. already. <laughs> at, um, he's talking to the other priest that you didn't talk to. Yeah, Father Peter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, the other priest. Yeah. You talked to Father Peter. <laughs> oh, the saying. one that I did not talk to. You did not. That All one right. Came out well, then, how do I know which one's Father Clarence? And then uh, uh, Peter's also there with him. So there's oh. no voluntary. I mean, it's not very clear in which one he is. Father, that's the end of the 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 gospel. It's pretty clear. This guy's uh, his robes are a little nicer. Yeah, I see. You know, he's wearing a. He's the one large, skimming off the top. He's I wearing understand. a large. I get it. I know how religion works. Yeah. His, uh, his yeah. Little, you know. Um. <laughs> walks up to you. Ah oh, yes, constable. Did you find what you're looking for? You know what? I kind of found out. I uh, found what I was looking for. You know, I, I uh, realized that this. Uh, I, you know, I hesitate to even call it like an artifact. This item here. Uh, it, it, you know, it has something to do with the Gorm, uh, Gulthian. Uh, I was able to find the emblem there on the end of it here. But, uh, you know, I was Gorm, just curious. Gorm, yeah. D yes, Dwarven, yes? Yes, yes, a Dwarven god. Uh, according to the scrolls down there, it said that, you know, uh, found a group of orcs worshipping him off on the steps over there. Hmm. Anyway... I mean, have you ever seen anything like this? I just hold it, like, too close to his face. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Quite. Um. No. It's very, uh. It's very intricately done, though. Have you sought out the blacksmith? Perhaps the uh, metal turning process. Maybe. Maybe he made it. Hmm. I know he makes nails for a living, but you never know. Yeah, I might uh, stop by and give him a give him a chat up about it. A little, a little spooky. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, I appreciate your time, Brother Peter, Brother Claren, and. Uh, Ah, uh, the last one? Yeah. Uh, John's, sir. John, sir. Father John, John sir. John's, John's, just John's. Father John's, just Father John's. Father just John's. Father John's, just John's, got it. <laughs> John's. Your your incident reports are awful. <laughs> John's. Jacobs has stopped reading them. <laughs> And you know what? Maybe I'll stop by on a Sunday. Well, it's generally at the change of the moon, but Sunday works. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. You all so have Monday. a good day. <laughs> <laughs> have a lovely day. I drop a coin, a uh, silver coin, into the Down thing. Floor. No, I'm, there's, yeah. there's something there. There's got to be a box, a tithing box. Blessings of Saloon be with you. Saloon, sorry, Saloon be with you. <laughs> the priest forget what it is. Yeah. Blessings of like, Saloon oh, beyond no, I'm be just with keep, you. I keep flipping the vowel sounds on. <laughs> All right. God damn it. <laughs> Ugh.
Is it one of those things where I have to turn each one and then it makes sense? Like I have to unlock something. A puzzle cylinder? No. I wouldn't There's do that. There's a special that. word for that. Name for it. Um, I don't know. Is it codex? That sounds about right. I think that's right. Okay. Yep. Uh, anybody else? There was a place, a great database of information that you could go to and type some things in and then do a search and find out what it is. West and like 90% of it would be naked people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a generous estimate. <laughs> it's more like 98. Oh, a javelin is $99 when you package it with a uh, Spectrum TV. <clears throat> Their service isn't great in Krasden. <laughs> I get, I get a freaking letter from Krasden Spectrum every week. <laughs> I'm not interested. Essentially, what I'm saying is, I can see your computer screen on the back of the. Uh, oh, shit. That's why I said a javelin is ninety-nine dollars when you bundle it with the Spectrum package. Oh. <laughs> I don't just pull random shit out of the air like. Right. I haven't talked in a while. Do. I'm going to say this weird <laughs> sentence that makes no sense. My bad. <laughs> I get letters from them all the time, and I already have their service. Yeah. They do that, too. Like, for real, Spectrum, fuck off with all the letters. <laughs> oh, I, get, I get so many. <laughs> One guy came to my house to try to get me to change to Spectrum, That's and I, I said, I'm quite happy with Allo, like and then he would not leave oh, my God, house. This. Like you let him in? Or no, just like, that's a crazy He looked again. like he yeah. just kept talking to me, and I said, "Seriously, <clears throat> dude, I don't Ooh, care what your prices secrets. are. I don't want your shitty service." Yeah, I mean, please leave. And at that point, it's like, okay, bye, close the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm very. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Cri- you're back. Cryptics. Spirit Mara. Oh. With like spelled weird, right? No. Um, Is it just cryptex? Ori, anything you want to do? Hmm. You've been pretty quiet. Oh, I have text. been staring oh, cool. at this thing for hours. <laughs> I'm baffled. <clears throat> baffled. Yeah, I can't help you, man. You rolled really poorly. <laughs> <laughs> All that's in his head is, don't do it, Ori. <laughs> you know you want it, but you shouldn't. Don't do it, Ori. I actually have... I actually have, like, the little consciences on my shoulders. <laughs> they are two pixies that didn't go away. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're my conscience. They're actually pixies that never left. <laughs> are you... This is weird. They're both telling me to do it. I know I shouldn't. Um... Roll... Crucible. Roll intelligence score. Intelligence save. Save? Or no, you can roll wisdom. It's a memory base. It's just a check, not a save, unless check. you're attacking check. him with something. Check. <laughs> check. Check. It's a mind flare. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was in the tube all along. Point twenty three. A that? creepy beholder comes out and is like, hello. I like beholders. Huh? I love beholders. Twenty-three. Um, okay. Yep. Walking out of there, you get the random idea that because uh, you had thought about libraries earlier, there actually is a library in the capital city that's very expansive. If if you felt like doing so, however, again, half a day's right ferry trip. In case you have to spear a beholder with it, I do not. A few hours to get there, then you'd have to go get through the city. Then you'd have to get there. Spend the time researching and everything else. Huge time I doubt we'll ever fight. But the likelihood of them having something about this is very high. Right. It's an incredible, incredible uh, collection of knowledge throughout the that they put together in the past few hundred years. Well, I know whose it is because I've I've seen her with it. Yeah. Okay. Not just nat ones that fill rolls. Oh! oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> Bagby. Mm-hmm. You uh. So.
So, did you do you generally sleep in your little reading nook? Mm-hmm. Okay, because there's room. Even though like, I have a room, I sleep in my nook. Well, they're like communal sleeping, but yeah. Yeah, no, I sleep in my nook. Yeah. Um, uh, you get a little nudge to your side. Mm-hmm. Are you bag me? What? You look up to see, uh, 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 sibling from some time, but you don't quite recall his name. You know he works guard, though. Hello, fall <laughs> brother. Summer, but yeah. Uh, it's called champ. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, I've been asked to take you to see Nima. Oh, what did I do now? I don't know. Fine. I attach all of my bags to me. It's a lot of bags. I like bags. Yeah, it's a lot of bags. Why do you think my name is Bagby? What weird thing do you like? Obvious statement. <laughs> Captain <laughs> Obvious of the Guard. <laughs> Hey, unplug four and replug it real quick. Oh my god, always with this one. Four. That's six. That's I, don't know. I looked at the way. His name is Apple. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're good. I've started to be able to recognize it based on the fucking. <laughs> my nemesis. Here we go. Um, yeah. Uh, so you go down there. It's not far to Nitma's room. Yeah. You're actually not sure when Nitma sleeps. Because she's always working. Probably I don't know neighbor. If she does. <laughs> Older people don't need as much sleep. Are you kidding me? The old people I've always known slept constantly. I mean, it's kind of. <laughs> My grandpa had a morning nap and an afternoon nap every day. Really? Yeah. He also got up at like. 4.30 in the morning, but there you go. But he also went to bed at like 8 at night. So <laughs> he was just the quintessential old man. Alright, you arrive. How long, Nitma? She's uh, puffing away on her pipe, as she's known to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, knitting. Nice, with the nice purple that you found her. She seems to be making um, socks. For really big feet. I don't know. <laughs> or it could be a bag. Definitely not a bag. I mean, socks are technically like bags if you just tie bows on the top of them. <clears throat> that are essentially just weird shaped bags for your feet. They're feet bags? They're feet bags. I totally understand that. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Mr. DM? <laughs> it's true. <Yeah>. Cock. <laughs> Anything can be a bag if you try hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> and some things are sacks. The... <laughs> oh, sweetheart, come in. What? what? You can go. You, you can go, Thumbdy. Ha! <laughs> you like thumbs! Guess where? <laughs> 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 Unsubscribe bag facts. <laughs> Guess who's getting all the bag facts anyone could possibly want? All of us now. Thanks, Bars. Don't start writing bag facts here. <laughs> Don't start writing bag facts. Interesting bag facts for fun. Motherfucker, please. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I will bring them out as I see fit. Is this ambience? <laughs> In Nitma's room? Is that her theme song? Uh, sorry to wake you up, dear. But I need you to go up top. Okay. What's for? Well, I need, I need you to go talk to your friends. I... Heard there was a another messenger up top that wasn't supposed to be, and uh, I'd like you to start looking around for what they were carrying. 
do you think it was another one of those cylinder thingies that I gave you with the the inscription of the dwarven runes and Gorm's face on it? it, it yeah, sweetheart, it's, it's called a housing unit, but yeah. <laughs> Good concise summary, though. Just a second, let me write that down in my notes so that I remember that you told me that it's called a housing unit. You don't have internal discussions, do you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Cylinder is called a housing unit, not weird thing with Gorm's face on it. Why is Gorm's face on it? Well, that's just... Uh, I don't know. These people. Anyway... I need you to come across it. If you can, find out where it is. You don't need to retrieve it yourself. We'll, se- we'll send some people to... We'll send some others to do that. But I bet if my friends have it, they would give it to me if I asked them really nicely. And that would be very nice of them to do. But if that doesn't happen, just let me know. Mm-hmm. Why is it so important that we have it? It's one of the things we have that they shouldn't. But could it help them? Well, something I've learned about the human world. Even nice things turning the weapons again eventually. You mean they've weaponized the bags? <laughs> well, yeah, I actually... It's a net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those monsters! You ever heard of razor wire, sweetheart? It's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> I will get this from them so they cannot make it a Spill weapon it like, like the bags. <laughs> Can I have the Can I have the blacksmith make me a razor wire net? That sounds awesome. <laughs> Absolutely, he can't do that. Also, um, Nitma, this really weird thing happened to me last night. What's that, sweetheart? Do you know my friend Ori's dad, Norm? He's like a fae. Normanal? Yeah. Uh, Matt. When you say met, do you mean you God, had no, sex stop. with him? No, gross. <laughs> it seems like a lot of people have upstairs. Yes, well, a lot of people upstairs drink too much. That is true. Anywho, um, he turned into a mole, and he came yeah. down here yeah. into my little nook, mm-hmm. and he told me that I should not be upset when I die, because, quote-unquote, when he kills me, I will be fine. I don't think he means, like, he is going to kill me. I think it was, like, a royal he. An ominous he. Mm. Sweetheart, he gets blazed off his balls on a regular basis. I yes, don't but know he also worry said other things that were true. <laughs> and that happened. Even a broken clock's right twice a day, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, okay? War times with his concept of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will come try here, not to worry. But, hmm. Feel better. She gives you a small kiss on the mm-hmm. forehead. Now go do what I said. <laughs> okay. <Don't> fucking kill. <laughs> <laughs> do I have any messages from Koinda because he told me he was going to write me? Not yet. I'm mostly curious as if he has finished the book that I gave him. He's not a fast reader. Okie dokie. I will go upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> I think... Oh, um... Shoot. At some point, can you send the map to the, the Facebook group so we could have it and you don't have to... Yeah, I was going to label it first. I'm yes. still in the process of Is labeling it. Is there a now. entrance um, to the upstairs that is nearer to the jail... Not then Spirit of Mara or um, Spirit of Mara the closest? To the jail? Essentially I would be the going The closest is actually through the, the, the chapel of uh Saloon. Then I will be going that way. Yeah. 
and you would have to cross through town because the jail, if you don't remember, is in sort of the middle mm -hmm. of town. So. Yeah. So I will be going upstairs via the. Well, it actually depends on what time of day. If it's low tide, you can get out on the uh, uh, bay wall as well. I'll go through the temple. Okay. They have lots of books and scrolls and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. Um. Anybody doing anything right now? <coughs> You're gonna go talk to somebody. Yep. Do you want to do anything at Spirit tomorrow? I feel like I'm just waiting there. Okay. Kind of hoping the Tyra comes by. A tire? Tyra? Tyra? Ty okay. Would you like to have an interaction with Tyra? Carso would? Tira. Is it Tira? Tira. I thought it was Tyra. Oh, it's Lyra. Lyra and Tira. And Tira. Yeah. Don't tell her that I got her name wrong. <laughs> That wouldn't be a good thing. I mean, I'm not even here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lyra walks up to you. Good morning. How are you? Hello, Lyra. How are you doing today? I'm just fine, sweetheart. How are you? I'm doing fine. Is your daughter here? Of course she's here. She's upstairs right now, getting ready for the day. I'm sure she'll be down any minute. All right, then. You think maybe I could get something to eat? Some breakfast of some kind? I saw you brought in those all those mussels there. Aye. But they're not for us, not for you, and they're not for me. They're for the they're for the the, the goblins for tonight when they have oh, to do all the cleanups. That's very nice of you. I thought so too. You're so considerate. I try. Alright, sweetheart, I'll throw something together. Lovely, thank you. Steve, get off the fucking floor. Steven? Do you need Steve, some help get off there? the <laughs> fucking floor. <laughs> oh, Steven. Come on, get, here we go. Here we go. Just find the chair for you. Hey, everybody. As she comes walking down the stairs. I had too much to drink last night. So let's keep it at an even five moving forward. <laughs> morning, Tira. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. You look quite nice this morning. Oh, as opposed to yesterday, I didn't look nice? No, you always, I'm messing with you. You always look nice. I, I, I immediately regretted saying that to you. I knew you re I immediately regretted that. <laughs> Would you like to have breakfast with me? Um, I'm not... Super hungry, but uh, sure, I can sit down for a minute, I guess. Uh, let me see if uh, Mom needs help with anything first, okay? All right, then. I'll be right here, waiting for you. With Stephen over there. <laughs> Romantic. <laughs> Stephen, why do you drink so much? Is it because you're sad? I drink so much. Because you can't trust the water. Fish fucking it, you know? Hey. They do. <laughs> and they defecate in it. And the piss in it. <laughs> and it's now that worse. you see it, and this lots continues of bad things to go happen on in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's it. worse. <laughs> but, but honestly, it's we got to have water to survive. You just get it everywhere. So maybe we're supposed to have all that in the water? Maybe that makes us stronger in the end, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to. Yeah. I rolled a 22 for stealth to sneak through all Very the stealthy. <clears throat> okay. Are you at the blacksmith? Uh, yes, I'm approaching the blacksmith. Okay. What time is it? Am I still there or did I get out of there by now? The blacksmith? Yeah. yeah. You would have left. Okay. Again, I approach him way too quickly, holding this thing in front of it, my face, like, directly. Oh, to yeah, hey, whoa. What's his name? Clarence. Ask about his Wait a minute. Father Clarence? No, Clarence. Oh, Father Clarence, this is Clarence. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Clarence, hey, have you seen anything like this before? Father Clarence said that you might uh, have seen something like this. Uh, no. 
Never built anything like this? No, I don't. Uh, you can't make anything good out of bronze. Oh. All right. <laughs> so this is made of bronze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do copper and bronze. It's the, it's the color on it. Right. All right. But you've never seen anything like it before. Um... Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the housing units for the for the ferries look like this, kind of, but, I mean, those are, like, uh, I don't know, they're made of uh, stronger stuff, you know, steel with gold plating on the outside. This is, uh, I don't know. You know, you said something there, I'm not quite sure what the heck it is. What is a ferry housing unit? Uh, the, the, for the Ella Ferry, right? So they put the elemental in the thing, and this is, they write some magic mumbo-jumbo on the outside, and it connects it to it. <clears throat> so this could be connected to a ferry. Well, no, this, it wouldn't, this would burn up in the, in the... So it's someone attempt to make something like it. It's, these, these bronzes and coppers, they heat up too quick. It, right. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Huh. Huh. I mean, it'd work for a bit, I guess, maybe. I, I don't know how it works. All right. That helps a little bit. We always get them shipped in from the, from the capital. I don't know. All right. Well, it helps a little bit. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So, uh, you have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. I do have another question. Yeah. What? Can you, by chance, make a razor wire net? <laughs> what? 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 I can make a net. Yeah, and attach like razor wire to it. I mean, I don't, I don't do netting. We do I mean, metal stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. I just had this idea in my head. <laughs> From somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what any of that is. All right. Well, maybe I'll put together some drawings. Bring them by some time. See what you think. Yeah. <laughs> you do that. All right. It's a baby. Uh, hey, all right, you have a good day. Thanks, Patrick. They left him some callbacks somehow. I, I have no idea where I would use a razor wire net, but it just <laughs> seems like it might be fun. <laughs> Try to throw. <laughs> well, I've got like gauntlets, yeah. so I should be able to handle it. Okay. He he said hi, Daddy, and hung out for about three seconds. And right. Mm -hmm. And he's got to go over there. He's a busy man. The car thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got stuff. He's got things to do. He's busy. <laughs> Doesn't have time for your shit. Like, just gonna go in there. <laughs> gonna eat something in there. <laughs> so, uh, I love the Henri chuckles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's all right, I'm gonna say I give up on sta at staring at the thing, and I decide to make some cookies. You may roll one last perception check, Philip. Investigation check. Investigation check. Investigation. I forget that they're... <laughs> yeah, it's confusing and they're like very similar skills. He comes, perception, he perception really you're, close, and then he stops. See he knows what's around you. <laughs> Investigation, you're actually trying to determine like yeah. what's up. Investigation. Just flirting with it a bit. Yeah. These are giving me a headache. Were you wearing them? No. Or just on your head? Just on my head. Hmm. Those things... I mean, it's cool to look through, but they mess with you. I, 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 to, for, the, for the record, I, you've I, gotten most affected by anybody. For yeah. the record, I wasn't like pouting about it. It seems like a very high thing for any of us to have any idea about. I just thought it would be fun to make some cookies. But <laughs> my investigation check this time was an eighteen. Oh, oh. You. Notice uh, writing very, very, very small around the uh, ba um, what's that called? The bulb of the pipe? What's that called? The bowl? The bowl. The bowl, bowl of the pipe. Why do I know that? <laughs> we'll see you later. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking stoner. <laughs> see you later. That's relatively common knowledge. <laughs> Good night, buddy. Love Good you. Good night, stoner. Lincoln. No, I don't smoke the reefer. All right. The jazz cigarettes. The devil's weed. <laughs> it's been well over a decade. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so 
All right, so what is what is written on the bowl, and you... does the writing only show up when it gets hot? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... One, one, one pipe to rule them all. <laughs> <laughs> one toad to bind them. The, uh... No, you actually, it's too small to see. But you, you thought it was, like, just a line around it, but you can tell that there's something in there. It's too small to actually read. What's interesting, though, is... It looks like a sentence that repeats itself on one side and the other because they look the same, right? And connecting in the middle at the tip, right, is uh, a symbol. And you think you recognize that symbol. Roll wisdom. Eighteen. Wait. Oh, no, it's just wisdom, not the saving throw. So, yeah, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, very good. You... Uh, nope, wrong thing. Mournier or Tullier. Spanktus. Mournier, Alantier. No, it's... Um, you see the uh, uh, symbol for the Elderwood. Okay. Okay. You had it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Still, body count turning to something smaller. It's got smaller eyes because then maybe the right one will look bigger. Or that is the can, dumbest druid thing. He can he can get a magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah, that, that would work too. I fucking hate that. <laughs> I could turn into yeah. I could turn into a spider so that I can look at it with eight eyes, <laughs> eight tiny eyes, tiny, creepy. Oh, Mike! Oh, Mike. Like those eyes. <laughs> Mike, I'll uh, probably mosey over to the uh, Spirit of Mara too. Then yeah. get some food. What time is it? Closer to noon. Closer to noon already. Mm-hmm. I do still want to make those cookies. <clears throat> Sounds good. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I think I'll make cookies. In my tree. <laughs> okay, sounds good. You're a Keebler. Piece of shit. Hey, that is our word. It's literally not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. I think I'll go looking for Crucible. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm doing rounds. I realize I really haven't done much. Okay. Some walk uh, in the city. Do you stop by the jail at all? That's usually where I start. Okay. <clears throat> You're there. I'm sitting in this desk. <laughs> My goodness, you have been gone a long time. Yeah, well, I've had uh, things to do. Kind of a busy guy. Mm-hmm. What can I do it for you, Bagby? I mean, friend. You can call me Bagby, it's fine. As long as none of the other goblins here, it will be fine. But I don't want uh, the other people calling you that either if you don't want to. Mm. I am feeling more loosey-goosey with the rules. Have you been drinking? No, I'm uh. very <laughs> bored. I've been sitting here all day waiting for you. And by all day, it's probably really only been about 15 minutes. But I have a very short attention span. I am a goblin, you know. Yes, I know. But, you know, I, there's one thing I have to warn you about. You used a phrase there that we probably shouldn't speak too loudly here. The whole loosey-goosey thing. Oh, right. You gotta remember. This no geese allowed. Yeah, branch of homies. You really don't like geese. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not that I'm so, uh, Keep, you know, it's like worked up about it. like poking me in the back. But I know some you know? people are. Mm. Frankly, I find all birds really frightening and confusing. We don't have birds in Kras. That's because most of them probably pick you up and carry you away. <laughs> this opened up a whole new box of fears. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that! <laughs> they would do that? Oh, well, if they're hungry enough. Okay, now you have a new mission in life, and it is to protect me from birds. Birds, that no is problem. That's primary objective. No problem. <laughs> Bagby has a new fear. Um, <laughs> anywho, so 
Nitma sent me up here to try and find something that one of our other goblin people lost. Uh huh. It's like a lost. Long... Let me check the lost and found. There's a lost and found. Yeah, it's a box right over there. It's a wooden crate. Are there bags in it? Oh, uh, there might be. I will look at that later. <laughs> there is a cloud of dust where Bagby once was. <laughs> <laughs> I will investigate that box in a little bit. But this is like long and uh, cylinder like, and it has a some dwarven runes on it. Have you seen it? Oh, well, yes, of course I've seen it. <laughs> know where it is? Of course I know where it is. Can I have it back? So it's yours? It's our people's. Huh. Could you tell me what it is? It is. I can tell you what it is. Nitma told me what it is today. Great. It, I've been walking around all day trying to figure out this thing is. All I had to do is ask you. It is a housing unit. A what? A housing unit. Oh, yeah. That's what the, uh, that's, that, that's what the uh, blacksmith said. Oh. Well, then you already know what it is. Well, I mean, like, you just confirmed what it is. Sure. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this goes on for several more minutes. <laughs> I think you mispronounced ours. <laughs> so, it's a housing unit. I don't know what they use it for, but Nitma was very insistent that we get it back. <clears throat> so, is this yours or is it Nitma? Nitma's. Nitma's? Nitma. Nitma. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's Nitma? Uh, Nitma is my grandma. Ah, mazel tov. <laughs> She is very old and very sweet. And sometimes a little bit scary. She has like a skull on her on her belt. And I'm not 100% sure what kind of animal it is. Anyway. Um, I think it's Nitma's. Or it belongs to the council of the goblins. I don't know exactly who it belongs to. But I, I know that it is the goblins housing unit. Before I hand this back, uh, I have one more question. Mm-hmm. What are you going to use it for? That is a very good question, and I, mean, I was not given the answer. Are you that. able to read the runes on the thing? You know, I do speak a little bit of Dwarvish, so I could maybe make out some of it. Do you mind if I ask what it is? Sure. And I will look at it and try and read as much of the ancient Dwarvish as I can. Okay. I do speak Dwarvish. Um, you're not a magic user. Uh, roll no, for... but I do, because of my background, I do have uh, proficiency in arcana. Okay. Because of my sage background. Uh, go ahead and roll arcana. Then. Twenty-two. It's, a. Uh, uh, binding spell for um, uh, an electricity element, elemental. Oh! Well, this looks like, well, aside from the symbol of Gorm that's right there, do you see the really creepy mask? Yeah, hey, thing? you know, I, I did some research there and I, I, mm-hmm. I, I figured that out on my own. Yeah, so that is the symbol of Gorm, and that's really impressive that you figured that out on your own because he's a dwarven god and he, they're not really like super popular up here, but that's okay. Um, and then the rest of the Well, there's this whole group of orcs out on the steps that worship him. What? That's, well, that's what it said cool. in the scroll. I don't know if they still do. I it, I didn't see if the scroll was dated or anything. You don't know the term steps, by the way. Yeah, she just thinks it's really cool that there are orcs that worship Gorm. Okay. Um, I don't know anything about what steps means, but that's really cool that there are orcs <laughs> and they worship Gorm. That's that uh, thing of islands over there. She's, she's currently picturing them on a set of steps, steps. like actual like, steps, like yeah. you know, just kind of chilling out on out. the stoop. They hang out on their stoops, worshiping Gorm, like stoop you do. Kid. Yeah, he won't leave his stoop. It's part of the worship of Gorm. Anyway, the rest of this uh, stuff right here talks about um, binding and lightning elementals. Hmm. So I'm assuming that this housing unit is bound to a lightning elemental to help make electricity. Do you know what electricity is? Do you have electricity up here? 
I don't think you do. Do you, I, have, you I, haven't I, I don't even recognize that, that word. Never the mind. Cl- 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 what? Nothing. <laughs> Sometimes lightning elementals can make things go flashy flash. Oh, we've seen that before. Yeah. Makes yeah. little spots in my eyes. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's what this is. It's a housing unit for a lightning elemental. Huh. No, uh, the blacksmith mm. there, uh, Clarence, told me that uh, that thing can melt pretty easily if it gets too hot. Does he have good sales? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> no! I was hoping so I'll bring it up a third time. <laughs> Rule of three. Tag me in. <laughs> You may punch me. Oh, this is this is Chad. This is not <laughs> not Duncan. <laughs> oh man, breaking character in the middle of stream. Yeah. Chad hasn't got anything in a few minutes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm not a like blacksmith person, but if he says it can get really hot, I suppose it could get really hot. Yeah, if you're talking about lightning and stuff, I mean that 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 starts fires. I mean I've seen it happen. I mean. Steve's house went up in flames once it got hit by uh, lightning. Crucible, are you here? Yeah. Who's there? Hi, Duncan. Oh, it's Duncan. 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 How you doing? Hey there. I'm doing well. Yeah. Oh, look. The little goblin's there, too. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. Good. It's good to see you. Mm-hmm. What you got there? This what, is what a she's housing unit for a lightning elemental. A housing unit, you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she says that uh, you can use it to generate a click of Mm-hmm. What he okay. said. It's a place someone's got an elemental trapped in there? No, I think it's just like bound to the elemental. I don't think there's actually an elemental inside of here. That would be really uncomfortable for the elemental. Then what did they call it a housing unit for? It houses the binding spell. It just houses the spell then? I think so. That's quite confusing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What you gonna do with it? Well, it is my grandma's, <coughs> and she asked me to come back up here and get it for her. Because one of our other goblin people, kind of like, how, did you see Coinda had one of these and he gave it to me? Well, that's what the first time that I saw it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So what you're saying to me is, hey, there's more than one of these? I think this might be the same one. I don't actually know, but maybe we have it's more the same than one. one? But so coin so your brother had one? And then you took it back. And then I took it back and I gave it back to Nisma and then another goblin. And then where did this come from? One and I don't know, but you said you found it. <clears throat> where did this one come come from then? Oh, uh two nights ago when we were at the uh, celebration when we we're playing the games. Ran across uh, another one of her kinfolk and uh, he happened to uh, hand it over to me basically. Now Corey, you're, you're dipping. Those cookies smell great. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me that you're dipping. Oh, like that one yeah, day? I forgot we're the neighbors there for a second. Hey there. You brought there? <laughs> I was about to bring them over to the prisoners because usually they need carbs to absorb all the alcohol. <laughs> you know, just so they don't get the poisoning. There, I think they're almost done. <laughs> I'm not really a hundred percent sure of the like timeline of this particular housing unit, but I know Coinda had one, and then the one goblin that you met on festival night apparently had one. It could be the same one, or maybe there are more than one. All I know is that Nitma told me to come up here and get it and bring it back. What's the face on there? Oh, the creepy mask! Isn't it cool? That's the symbol of Gorm. He's a dwarven god, and apparently there are some orcs that worship him on the steps. The steps? On uh-huh, the steps. Oh, you mean the spine. The what? The you spine. Know the spine. Oh! I don't know. At some point, they all started to call it the steps, but it's the spine. Oh! Well, I know where that is. This whole time, I thought they were just, like, hanging out on someone's house on their steps. So what you're telling me is <clears throat> that this... Has a face of Gorn on it, and there's some orcs that worship it, and they're in the spine. And this has been out of where you're from twice now, I think because so. because goblins keep bringing it out, and then you're 
you keep you keep bringing it back in then mm -hmm. have i told you all that they've got a destiny you have it's a really fascinating story maybe this is the beginning of my destiny i see we take it and we go into the spine and we find these arcs and we ask them about it steps spine people call it the steps but it's the spine hey t i knock twice and then just walk in because that's kind of what i would do and uh i'm like oh hey there crucible i brought cookies for the prisoners again and oh people who aren't prisoners are here i guess i'm there too <laughs> oh did you oh, follow it's all of my favorite homies all in the same room joseph how's right. it going Oh, how are you? Can I want them cookies in? Oh, yeah, I mean, they're for everybody. Are there, are there, is there anybody in the drunk tank? That's a good thing this room is a uh, five by five. <laughs> I'm sitting on your desk, so I am quite comfortable. Mm. It is getting kind of crowded in here. I'm just going to set these on the, uh, um. What is that, though? Is oh, it oh, oh, some nutmeg? Oh, oh, some oh, 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 oh let me squeeze by you there. Um, it's okay, I don't take up much space. <laughs> I'm like taking up half the room. <laughs> anyway, we were all talking about getting on the destiny and going out to the spine with the art, with this housing unit there. You were talking about that. And then, right, we were talking about all going <laughs> and finding the arcs and asking all, them the questions. All of you were talking about that. How, how did the cookies turn out? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Roll. Roll cooking or something? Survival. Survival. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should roll survival. I just had one. Well, oh, okay. If you did well, you might have to roll a constitution check. <laughs> if I did well, I get what you're saying there. I got a 17. They're fine. They're totally good cookies. There's a bit of nutmeg and some cinnamon. It's quite tasty. Yep. And something I can't identify. It's oregano. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure glad you guys can appreciate the better things in life. <sighs> <laughs> it's not sinking in for me at all that this is a cool thing that I constantly bring cookies to your place of work that you can't have. Just look Crucible dead in the eyes. You wonder why there's cookies left like a week later. There's still cookies there. That... <laughs> Guess so you're with us on a diet, eh? <laughs> Are you two with us then? Well, I got a question for you, Bagby. <laughs> I feel like the only times I've seen you up here is because you had something you had to do. Pretty much. I mean, that is my job. What's, uh, what's your mission today. I'm supposed to take this cylinder back to Nitma. Oh. So I'm halfway there. I have the cylinder. <laughs> now I just have to go back to Nitma. <clears throat> but aren't you curious though? What it all means? I am <coughs> curious. I would definitely go to the spine because I've never been there. That would be really cool. That means but, getting on a boat. Oh. It would be really cool to go if I didn't have to be on a boat. But. They're not so bad if you stay near the middle. They <laughs> roll back and forth less. But I don't know. Like, maybe I could write down all of these runes and the symbol of Gorn and draw the the cylinder i don't really want to take the cylinder anywhere and give it to people that i don't know but what's the difference if if your netma gets it today or tomorrow she would know and but she would, she, would, know, she, would know, would she know and she would send more goblins to come and get it and then we would be in trouble but if you didn't actually <laughs> have possession of it Yoink! <laughs> Yet. You don't have anything to give to her, right? Makes a good point. Now it's not your fault anymore. Now it's his fault. 
Yeah, that plas- plausible deniability there. Um, <laughs> I think I'll just put it back into this bag that it came in. It came in the bag? That's a really nice bag. It's a canvas satchel. What are you talking about? It's a bag. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's about adventure. We have a great adventure. And we might... We might find our destiny. Really well, we just go down to the docks and we talking. automatically like find our destiny. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He said the D word. We're going to hear a story. Here, you guys take the cookie. I'm going to... The cookies, I'm going to go... <laughs> it was the stormiest night all night. Oh, God. Oh, God. A guy in the jail cell. No! <laughs> okay. I think that's, uh, I think I, I talk loudly over you. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we go out to the steps or spine, whatever you want to call it. And we, uh, stop hearing stories. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely go along. So long as you stop telling us. Oh, oh, oh! My, oh, he's seizing up. Hold on a second. <laughs> Are you with me then? Everybody in town's heard Duncan's story so many fucking times. Would you be okay with that if we postpone delivery for a little bit? I mean, I think she would be fine as long as I am with the cylinder and I intend to bring it back. How about this? How about all four of us make a promise that once we're done showing it to the orcs, we make sure that you get it back to Nitma. Okay. That works for me. Well, uh, you have my word? Well, I say we do this in blood. No, we Oakley, don't. Oakley, you uh, don't have blood. <laughs> Whose blood are you going to use? <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of it coming out of that guy. <laughs> That's not what seizures do, but okay. No, no. Ash's head against he the bar. He smashed his head against the bar several times. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say no. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in, I promise, uh, Ranger's Honor. To the destiny! All right, let me get my floaters. You have some floaters? You have water wings? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did you get some floaters? Like, <laughs> oh, she needs some Fuck you, Bart! <laughs> otherwise, he'll, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise he'll sink and has to walk along the bottom to get where they're going. Yep, <laughs> that's funny as shit. <laughs> Fellowship of the Guffin, that's great. And my cookies! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get him moving somehow. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if they really didn't see it. this part coming. <laughs> All right, Crucible. Do you need to uh, let the prisoners out or anything so they don't starve to death? No, there's other constables. It's not like I'm the only one in town. Oh. You're, you're For some only. reason, I feel like you're the only one I see. They're all high functioning <laughs> idiots, but it's fine. It's because the others are like four foot eleven. Oh. Oh, okay. This is fascinating. I'm gonna check on that guy who might be dying. <laughs> uh, he'll be all right. I'm sure, he's fine. <laughs> Walk it off, you pussy. To the destiny. The destiny. The destiny. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, cork floaters. All right. And we put the goblet in floaters because that is just the most adorable thing. <laughs> <laughs> Little ducky. <laughs> oh, God. Do you have like inner a tube? round inner tube that kind of looks like a donut? They only sell one in town and it's a goose shape, so I don't know. If no, they don't. Conti one for my survival. Uh, yeah, you, you get out of the um, uh, heart, uh, bay just fine. Where are you going? To the does. S- into the spine? Okay, just that's a big area. <laughs> I'm just holding on to the mast. You can see sick or is it just... Like koala bearing the mast. <laughs> Sailing for it. I try my big for wet them. thing. <laughs> All right, so... So, Duncan, you know any uh, seafaring songs? Hmm. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Yeah, you know any seafaring songs, you fuck? See here. Um, what is it, McGain? It's gonna be everyone again. Go fuck yourself. Good day, lovely, full trip. 
I started from this something port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailor man, the skipper brave and sure. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vomiting off the hold back. Hold on, I got really that one real quick. Sail that day for three hour tour. <laughs> three, three hour, hour tour. tour. Damn, these pads are hot. The weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. I don't it's like this song. It's the quarter of the field. Fine. It's talking about the shipwreck. The destiny wreck. Where are you going? Lost. You have your map. I do. All right. I think we should begin. Boy, look at all those islands there. There's a ton of them. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I would have paid more attention to that scroll Each when I was looking at it. Each square is three miles, so even the smaller ones are totally livable. What's at the bottom there? That That's different? a big ass island. It's called, an island, though. Yeah, it's okay. called Tafal. You've all probably heard of it. You okay. just the likelihood of you going. I, I just wondered if it was a continent or if it was an island. Uh, mm -hmm. it could be its own continent if it wanted to be. Like Australia. Yeah. Okay. I mean, no, it's not like that. But in the size of like medieval Except empires, a lot less this could side technically be its own. It's England. Yeah. Okay. Big enough to be like England sized. Yeah, big enough and well populated enough that it could be okay. its own thing. But it is technically owned by the Adenian Empire as well. Oh, okay. So we would trade with them to some extent at least. Or at least probably to the not, capital. Probably to the not capital. heavily. Yeah, the capital would. Yeah. Not, not you guys. Right. At all. At all. I feel like the, the best oh. thing we could do is head towards um, the, the <laughs> Turok Al and find us just um, some go fishing tribes and start asking some questions. Yeah. Basically, you want to go down into the Turok Al. south itself. into Turok Al. Yeah. Okay. We can sell your WordPad notes on this screen. <laughs> What happened? Hi, Lincoln. It all Hi, went Lincoln. away. It's okay, everything? Everything went away. Let's bring that back. Let's bring that back. <laughs> Are you just getting louder, like, really quietly so no one notice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do the opposite really with my kids in the car. They'd be playing their music, and it's like, every once in a while, I'd tap the button, it goes down a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, over the course of 15 minutes. Yeah, they don't notice. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> Damn it, Dad. So right, we head At down south. full mast, it would take you roughly three hours to get there. A three-hour tour. Is that all of us at full mast, or? <laughs> oh, bag me, bag me. Do you have a can? I'm cold attachment water. for that. I guess. <laughs> Do you have chlamydia? No, I'm cold. <laughs> 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 I think I can cure that. <laughs> Continue with your story. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys sail. It's the middle of the day, and it's the end of summer, so it's hot, <clears throat> one. But the sea breeze and the spray, it's actually really nice out. It's a beautiful day to sail. Duncan <laughs> could not be happier in the world. <laughs> I'm just kind of up near the front. I'm not doing a king of the world thing or anything, but I'm like sitting up there. Yeah. Started from this trunk. Do you, the rest of you like sailing? I do. <laughs> I'm wearing a lot of armor, but I like sailing. Ori? Oh, you're looking at the keys? Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> If you're gonna have this thing, yeah, you should like learn old bardic <laughs> stuff. Like old bardic tunes. Send you the Witcher theme or something. Uh, does does um, Crucible like the water? Uh, he doesn't mind the water at all. It's just he doesn't like to fall into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, one way or the other. That's why he has the cork, cork floaters. Because otherwise he sinks to the bottom and has to walk the rest of the way. That would suck ass. Yeah. Salt water, you'd cold. rust like a... And the car you would, you would, you would that, that might kill you if you're in the water long enough. Yeah, possibly. Certainly. You, you don't rust, like, instantly. No. You no, rust when you get out. Uh, under Undersea currents with salt water? You, you rust when you get out. That's when the oxygen gets on you. Yeah, but it's yeah. The, the salt water starts to eat away at him, like, instantly. It's not acid. <laughs> 
They, that's why they have to, like, refinish the bottoms of yeah, ships. But that l is for, like, years. Sure, but how long is it going to take him to walk from sea? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a couple weeks, probably. I don't know. If we're all floating on a big bo a big thing of acid, Mike, it's your game. So. <laughs> the only and this thing is really easy a big until thing the sea chain. Or he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And, and do you want to do anything on the boat on the way there? The millionaire is fly. <laughs> The movie star. That's good, Bart. Now, if I always wanted to try some deep sea fishing. Ooh, I'm in for that. Duncan, you got any stuff to fish? Of course I do. D does he have any stuff? For, for deep water fishing, no. I mean. Oh, it, yeah. Okay, I didn't know. No, I, I fully told him he is he is set for... Lady Umberly sick, I'm a fisherman? For f Every version of fishing, he is, he is totally kitted out for it. All right. Can, can I borrow a rod and a, and a reel? He could do. He could go shrimping, in or these, he could go deep water tuna. In these areas, we're probably talking to maybe at this speed. You might want to um, maybe some uh, some tuna or some mahi mahi, perhaps. Here you go. I'm pretty Set strong. Him up with, the, with all of the tacos needed. I'll, I'll go to the back. This is very warm water, so think tropical, but deep water. Okay. I'll go to the back and toss it. To, uh, cast my line. Roll survival. I watch what he does, and I do the same. You have no idea what you're doing. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, modify 20. Uh, Just know we're not stopping for you. 23. <laughs> Quick learner. <laughs> uh, you both feel a tug at the line. Whoa, got some. No, got some. <laughs> you're just copying it. Jerk it up quickly Stop to hook the fish. Stop copying me. There you go. Now you reel it in. But you gotta kind of let off if the fish Roll is pulling Roll save you. Bagby. <laughs> to keep it in the tum tum. Seven. <laughs> <clears throat> Boop. Yakitori. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just like keep hanging on. You just turn your head. Bleh. How does such right. a short so song have two key changes? <laughs> <laughs> Tried to keep it in the bucket bag, me. <clears throat> Pirates of Dark Water. Not quite, but oh, <laughs> I've heard this kind of fun. I remember that show. Uh, Pirates of Dark Water. Our original campaign was a pirate campaign, and that was dope AF. I loved that campaign. The um, sorry, I mean, ship there's... combat was pretty. Fun. I, I think that was more fun than Starfinders. <laughs> Yeah, I created my own because Ship Combat uh, Pathfinder was trash. So I created my own version of Ship Combat, and it was real good. I actually kind of wanted to write it down and submit it as, like, a replacement. So, Joseph, I understand that they uh, have contests about these things. Yeah. These, uh, you seem like pretty good ones. We're reeling them in. <laughs> yeah. Um, roll strength, both of you. Just athletics or just strength? Athletics. Because you, you'll, yeah, you'll have to come pull off. Uh, that's going to be a, uh, a lot. Um, 24? Uh, 4. I think I lost mine. Mine went off the hook. What? 4. Did you, you snapped your line. Well, crap. Uh, oh, so I'm get away. We see your internet. Oh, shit. About to look up porn. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Fish porn. Oh god, that's probably a thing. Ugh. Let me look that up. <laughs> for reasons. Fish porn. Oh wait, let me go to an incognito. What are you looking All right, at? bud. You do fish, a great job. Fish bestiality videos. Yes, I, I don't want to see that. What the all. fuck are you looking up on my internet? I was going right to say, now? that's on Mike's that website. That gets linked now. to my, IS, <laughs> I, my IP, you fuck. Fish porn <laughs> butt stuff. <laughs> Type in like fish porn 18 plus. Anal beads. I will flip on you faster <laughs> than Takeshi69 flipped on literally everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
miners. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Come on. Oh, oh. You, you got it. Oh. Out of the water, you pull this handsome feller. <laughs> Woo. Out of the way. Out of the way. <laughs> Joseph. About a 30 incher. So, you're talking big fish. Oh. Check it out, Ori. Nice catch. Or, I mean, uh, Duncan, sorry. You keep doing what you're doing, Ori. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a real, that's a, that's a real big Duncan, fish. You got a good, that's a mahi-mahi. That's a nice catch. It's a big one. You got a, you got a hold for these? You some real big fish. Of course I do. Okay. Right. You have a, you have a wet hold? Yeah. Right underneath your cap. There's probably some people. I think I can engage. Toss them in. Sweet. A big ass mahi mahi. I like it. See what else you can find in there. With all the else you can pull in. Okay. You might need some more. I'll let you do one more. I don't so know how long we're going to be gone. No. Uh, 18 for survival. Also, he totally snapped your line on the other. Uh, I expected. I expected so. 18 survival, Mike. <laughs> huh? 18 survival. Uh, yeah. You get a hook. Let's get athletics. Uh, not as great. 17. Okay. That is... That is not what I thought it was. Yes, Bars, I think he Put does. some other fish on that list. I looked up something that definitely he wouldn't have hooked. Bars, um, he does have an entire chart of fish that are in the area. Yeah. Here. I right. made yeah, bars. Mahi Mahi, right. some tuna, marlin. Marlin would be a nice one. Oh, marlin, oh. yeah, yeah. We can do marlin. Cool. Uh, everyone out of the way. <laughs> no, the one I looked up was even bigger than marlin. <laughs> Are we there yet? I feel like I'm dying. Can someone get? There's some hard tack in uh, in in my quarters there. Someone get some some of that for Bagby to settle her stomach, huh? I'm busy driving the boat. Kind of in the middle of something. Lost my accent. <laughs> I don't know, all I'm playing is these greasy yep. pork sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're gonna need Next help. to the no, greasy pork sandwiches. Yeah, here okay. we go. Okay. So That's a strength just, check. Like, You're gonna have to roll strength check, and it's gonna have to be real big. Because these are like 800 to 1,000 pound fish. Just strength? Yeah. Hey, Crucible. Come here, help me pull this in. <laughs> I uh, gingerly reach around him to grab the pole. Gingerly reaching. You gingerly reach around. To grab the pole. <laughs> All to right, grab then. the pole, yep. <laughs> um, do I get... Actually, that's, I'm probably not sure. Probably is that the marlin you got there? Do, uh... Do I... I, I think it is. I think it All is, right. Duncan. Get on the club. Fucking thousand You're gonna need to club this thing. <laughs> I'm adding 17 okay. under whatever. Okay. 17. Do you want and I've got 17 what? as well. <laughs> so, with, um... With advantage... Oh, no. If they get the marlin oh, close enough, you're gonna have to club it in the head. 18. Or else it's gonna take everyone in with it. 18? Yeah. I got one more. Okay. Club it in the head. That's where the business you're end of its noise is. But you two basically can't help you got it. deal with it. You pull it into the boat. And it's marlin, so yeah, somebody's gonna have to deal with the giant fucking marlin. Oh, I got it. <laughs> no, you can't. No, oh, because I'm pulling yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. oh. So that's. Duncan, or Bagby, or Ori. Ori, Ori. That's why I told Ori. Put some roots on it or something. Uh, He's got the fish whacking club. (laughs) He's got the fish whacking ukulele. Can I punch the fish? I mean, I guess I'm going to stand at a distance and I'm going to swing so much bigger. (laughs) It's massive. It doesn't matter. It's a big fucking fish. I will punch it. Okay, you punch it, you hit it. Both of you roll. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna whack it. I'm gonna tell with my you right now, step. I have set stats in my head right now. I just kind of came up with it. Low AC, but you're going to have to do X amount of damage in order for it to actually. Our our combat is against the fish. 
<laughs> I love it. Well, it's, it's, it hits, no, I love it. And like, then I will use a key. But it's point. a fish with a pointy nose. It's a spear fit. Yeah. yeah. I, what? It's a sword fish. You may make a javelin out of this. <laughs> what? So if my first hit is twenty-one to hit. Okay. Yes, that's a hit. I'm going to use a key point to use flurry of blows to make two more attacks. Yes. <laughs> Good luck, <monster. laughs> Fuck you, fish. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is a tiny little, tiny little fist of rage. The second one is a thirteen. No. And uh, the last one is an eighteen. That one. Okay. So you got two. So I got two. I will roll these. Someone then gave that fish a spear. <laughs> <laughs> And then I will use Fury of the Small to do more damage. So uh, it is that bigger is bigger than you. Twelve <laughs> points of damage. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? I uh, I grab my ukulele and I whack it. <laughs> Your ex ukulele. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna use my quarter staff, but that would be funny if I hit it with it. You and it worked. Shatter the uke. Yeah, and I'm like the fish is fine. Oh. I 100% destroy that ukulele. If we can get it out of here, in game it's destroyed. Goodbye. All right. Okay, so I I, I, I hit it with my quarter staff, or well, sorry, uh, my roll to hit with the quarter staff was a 16. Depends what time of day it is, but it could be a three quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is this, Club Dread? It's some uh, broken lizard stuff. No, it's a slam. <laughs> oh, slam and salmon. Slam and yeah, slam and salmon. Lizard. It is broken lizard, yeah. <laughs> Watch it and punch his <laughs> fucking marlin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that from the show? Oh, Michael Clark Duncan. We miss you. Yeah, he was great. I loved Michael Clark Duncan. He was great. All right. Indeed. Um, so yeah. then, uh, the damage. I'm using both hands. Oh, I actually got a half. I, I got the best roll I possibly could. What? An eight. So that makes it nine damage with my <laughs> smacking it with my stick. Wait, did you roll the hit? Sixteen. Okay. That has, okay. Yeah, eight damage plus the twelve. Nine damage. Nine damage plus the twelve previously. That's one over what you needed to hit. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> you knocked out a marlin. You've caught a thousand pound marlin. Duncan! Now you know you're just hearing do- like ching, 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 ching. that's cash money <laughs> sitting in your fucking boat mm-hmm. right now. But Joe caught it, so he's like making <laughs> coin off of animals during this campaign. <laughs> I'm the guy who loves animals, but, but I'm just when it comes slaughtering to money, them. Yeah. <laughs> he likes catching animals. Fish or food, <laughs> not <laughs> friends. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I never had any intention of selling this fish. I just decided it'd be fun to go fishing. Then maybe you don't. Well, that was a fun little side quest. Can we go to the orcs now so I don't have to be on the boat anymore? Yeah, we're almost there. What do we do? Uh, Jeez. What do we do with I this? I really hate we, it here. I don't think this will fit in your life <sighs> thing. Somebody's got to pull it up on the mass and got it. Oh. Who is it going to be? Oh, I got a, I got a rope. All right. So I, I wouldn't recommend anybody doing that but you, but sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, I should be able to do that. Right? Joseph. Mike. Joseph, come take the rudder. Okay. I've got it. I mean... It can't be much different. Oh, I got it! I got, got the goddamn net! You got, the got it? You got the net? Straight up out of the air! Because you're a monk. <laughs> you're a monk. You've been training. Uh, okay, I guess I'm... I mean, my survival skill boat. is super, super high. Probably, like, field dressing, like, you know, deer and stuff. But, well, you know, why don't you okay. take the boat? I'll help uh, no. Duncan raise it up, because it's fine. pretty heavy. You got it. It. Okay. It can't you be that much different from gutting a deer. I'm more talking about the pulling it up. Give it a tray. Since it's a thousand pounds. I need you, and you, and you, <laughs> and we'll pull it up there. Okay. Sure. I'll stay on the rudder. Okay. I'll get us where we're going. You guys take care of the fish? Sure. You might need that to barter with when we get there. So don't fuck it up, huh? Sounds good. Don't fuck it. Okay. Uh, so so I'm, a, I'm just going to assist you. I can't even see it. Oh, uh, um, well, 
one person needs to wench it up, it's better. and then I would be the one <clears throat> taking the okay. nasty bits out. Okay. Um, so, Mike, I tie the rope around the back of the marlin. Okay. Uh, the rope that I have. And then, uh... Hey, Bagby. Can you do me a favor? Can you run this up the top of the mast there? I'm not very good at climbing. Okay. I will do that. Is that acrobatic, Mike? Yes. 22. Yeah, you do a great job. We're all doing so okay. well today. I'm going to hoist it up. And then once I get it hoisted, I'm going to tie it to the to the side of the boat so that it uh, I don't have to sit there and hold it. Uh, There's 14? cleats all along there. You can tie ropes to. That's what it's a fucking boat. Right, right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I didn't want Mike to think I'd just be sitting there like, oh my god, Ori, hurry up. <clears throat> you guys are doing a fine job. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that would, yeah. <laughs> 14 athletics to haul it up. <laughs> you're still fishing. I'm just, yeah. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> you don't lines. know that your line's With snapped. no lines, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't got a bite in a while. <laughs> is this what being tall is like? <laughs> I can see everything. You also, uh, you're also at the, you're also the, the tip of the mast, and the thing is basically <laughs> doing dipping over across. <laughs> Right. Over the water, by the way. Sasha's going to the like If you see something, <laughs> if you see something up there, shout it out, won't you? Do I see anything? Roll perception. Did I hoist it up? Yeah. Eighteen. It's a, yeah. Yeah. Do you I want? I did not see that upcoming today. Any of this? I, didn't, I know. This was not the plan. <laughs> the, um, Do you want me to help you? It, so we're doing it. nothing that you play. Uh, you for. Just hold <laughs> Absolutely, it. I love it when you do that. Everything out. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> I had I had three I had three things in mind that could happen, and this is literally none of them. So, <laughs> wait, welcome. Uh, so if I'm distracted, it's because I'm scrambling a little bit over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna help Ori by cutting along the belly, cutting it open yep. so that he can uh, get at it. And I rolled an 18 um, perception. 11 survival, so not great, but... Messy knife work, but you get it. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to get in there and take all the nasty bits out. You're going to get in there? Fort save at the top. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, so you're getting very, cl- you're getting very close to... Um, getting five. very what? Okay, mine's plus three. So. What? Nothing! Never mind. I didn't say anything. I heard a thing. Okay, well, you heard a thing. Yeah, very, getting very close to uh, Tarakal. Uh, not super hard to see the grouping of the the uh, spires is pretty um, undeniable. Um, but what is interesting to you is that you can see a collection of um, uh, house buoys. Um, they don't get together often. And this is just a known thing. They, 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 all of their houses are buoy boats that can separate and go somewhere else. Even if they own a business, like some, like I have the pub, like that might be the person who owns the pub. They're also a fisher fisher boat that goes off on their own and fishes because they're nomads effectively. But they have their own means of. Basically, it's not carrier pigeons, it's carrier seagulls, and they'll communicate via that. And they'll say, hey, uh, let's throw a thing. My daughter is getting married. Everybody get together, and they get together for a couple days. And they just know places to go. So there's actually a collection right now. I'm trying to think of a more annoying animal to use as a carrier animal. <laughs> I would name mine John Livingston. <laughs> do I see any of the people or do I just see the boats? Only the old Too guys far get up. it. <laughs> no, far up you, uh, you can see people walking uh-huh. around. It's super nondescript, though. It's too far out. Okay. I'm just name Steve. You're maybe uh, still 20, 20 minutes sail <laughs> to get close. And you're going to have to slow down, too, to get there. 
We will need to slow down. There are some like boat thingies coming up. So it's a collection of them? Yeah, they're all like <sighs> gathered in one specific area. Do you think those are the orcs? It is re- it is referred to as a gather, actually. When th- when they make their little towns. Alright then. And the likelihood of it being orcs is pretty high. Uh again, this is a very diverse mm. kingdom, but uh for some reason the orc tribes have settled the in the water. Here? Exactly. Out here, and they love it. All right. So, um, to get all the, to do all the dressing of the thing. Oh my. Uh, 24 to field dress the uh, marlin. You do a great job. You do such a good job. (laughs) I put all the, I put all the bad parts. Why do you know that? What? <laughs> to feel how Beginner's to feel, luck. <laughs> to feel dress a marlin. Because I have high survival skills. Yeah, but why would your character Guts? Know that? You know, it's all right. I've been in this fishing village for a long it's time. It's true. You probably all know yeah, at least a little guts. bit how it's to... It's basically the same... Besides, it's... Got a fish. It's basically the same as taking the guts out of a deer. Yeah. yeah. Right. That, you all get a little bit disgusted when... The, School tourists come to cha- town and can't figure out how to take the shells off the oysters. They can't figure out how to shuck the oysters, and you just stare at them like, just give me the fucking knife. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks. Bag me. What? Patrick. Direction. Patrick. He gets that way. He gets one in the arm. He gets one in so the part. arm. So, part. Yup. That way. I guide her a bit to the port. Sea gypsies. Nobody <laughs> called them that except for you, Bars. Nobody called them. <laughs> they probably don't like being called the thing nobody brought up. <laughs> oh, uh, there's a mic buzz. Yeah. Is it six? No. It's three. Oh, that is seven. Three is over there. Am I three? Yeah. Well, all right. We got to get a new barge. Once we're done with the technical issues, I think we really got to reel it in Ooh. and focus Sorry on, about on the tusks at hand. I thought you already plugged it back in. We're good. I hate you so much. Fifteen to bring it in. Kind of a piece shot. Can we do anything with mm-hmm. the with the Another sword piece. of a fish? Yeah, where did the Duncan? Go? Duncan, do you know? Can you do anything with the sword of a fish? I mean, it's basically cartilage. It's cartilage. So, I suppose. Uh, in fantasy set, certain fantasy settings, you can get swords made of it. It's a very low durability rate. Though. Right. They're just mostly for show. A marlin nose rapier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and they, 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 shing, they, shing, shing. no, it's it's refer. I think didn't last long, did it? In Pathfinder, when I in three five, when I watched that, it, uh, pay attention to that. It was called um, uh, Seaman's Rapier. <laughs> I'm not joking. Wow. Yeah. Two words. Someone that didn't uh, think about very yeah. hard, didn't they? Um, so I'm gonna take my glaive. I think they thought about it very hard. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna chop the nose off of it. I'm not, I'm not gonna make. I don't think I'm gonna make a that, weapon out of it. Do you want to do that it. because the heads can also be sold as like mounting? Oh, I'll just leave it for now then. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got to find ourselves a taxidermist. Yeah. All right then. Or a tax accountant. I can't remember which one. I rolled a fifteen to bring her. We can mount a bolt in okay. to the yeah, gathering. Uh, or a um, ship. It's strange to have, and you would know this. It's strange to have foreign vessels pull up on the gathering. I understand so, it. Uh, one presenting a gift, and one That's being right. nice, are both things you need to do. Mole of wire. Okay. Ahoy! We're bringing a gift! Ahoy! We've got a marlin for the gathering! You see a b- burly orc man, uh, no shirt. There's uh, another one? Another mm-hmm. one? Mm-hmm. Uh, Gonna have to set up some apple vinegar uh, Light, flowing shorts. Uh, no shoes, uh, with a cutlass at his side, uh, standing there. Marlin, 
Hi. Whoa! Oh, big boy! That's a big one. May we tether? We just have some questions. Aye, aye. All right. We bring it in. Look at the size of that one! <laughs> so much eye, you said it twice. There's a few, uh... There's a bit of a crowd now. They're looking, they're like... It's a big... Look at the size of that fucking fish! <laughs> Do you worship Gorm? <laughs> Very tactful. I approve. <laughs> Just jumping right in then, aren't we? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. They, they give you a strange look. Nobody truly responds. Do you have a priest around? The thing is, they're not giving you that strange of a look, right? Mm-hmm. It's not like talking goblin, ooh, weird. It's like... Random thing to yell. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> hello, my name is Bagby. I am a goblin. I do not sing and dance. Do you worship Gorn? <laughs> Perhaps there's a <clears throat> priest or someone uh, you could talk with. The uh, old. What's she go by now? Toro. Old lady Toro. Joseph, regale them with. with with the story of you bringing in you the got it. This one right so, here? Ah, uh, there! Work. Big slap on the back. <laughs> predator, predator, <laughs> predator handshake. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I will climb down um, the mast and I will grab Crucible. Bad being Crucible? An, old, an, older, an older member of the tribe uh, it kind of goes up. Haul it in, haul it in. We'll cook it up for our new friends. Sounds oh, good. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I guess we just let him have it. That's fine. He said... Yep. <laughs> no, it's cool. I already gave that's, it to him, that's, so... Yeah. Because we probably wasn't going to stay super fresh for the entire trip back, so... <laughs> it's a short trip. It's... It's all good. <laughs> now we get to go Should've taken the nose, but whatever. We can go talk to the priestess? <laughs> Who's all going with? I am going, me? please, thank you. Well, well you're going to have to have someone with the, um... The uh, the uh, charismatic properties to with you, so, someone uh, you know, to talk to him, you know, Middle someone man. that do the uh, do Give the talking thing in the, the uh, yeah. <laughs> do you throw out a shoulder doing it? Huh? Throw it, throw out a Put shoulder on doing it. Chair. These are full orcs or oh, half well, orcs? Oh shit, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Actually, you're close. Really you and you are closer to like. Average right, or that's walking what around yeah, here, yeah. then they, 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 they almost can't see your ass. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just stick with the ship and help them unload the marlin. Some of the toddlers are wandering around, staring down at you. Whoa! Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, I am full grown. This is as tall as I get. I am nine. Thank you. Uh, walking around, it's kind of. <clears throat> Beautiful here. They, it's a Bowie Bay City. They throw um, just random boards I've cut between, so it creates small streets that you walk over decks to get to other people's places. Everyone's talking. You see children swimming in the middle, in between boats, and, and the water has got to be a couple hundred feet deep. But there's no worries. Nobody cares. You've been swimming before. You started swimming before you started walking. Oh, Hakuna Matata, huh? Yeah. And <laughs> shut up. The, uh, the culture here, it's really quite nice. It's as long as you follow a, a few simple rules. <clears throat> everyone hears horror stories of orc tribes, blah blah blah. But it's these this is a nomadic fishing village. The the concept of tribal war orcs is just totally lost. They're it's quite cool. nice as long as you're nice with them. I can, I can no, don't see. get me wrong. They're all massive motherfuckers, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they are kind of skimpy on the rules there. I mean, they definitely don't have the no shoes, no shirt, no service rule. Of course, I don't abide by that either. Otherwise, I would lose like three quarters of my puck customer base. <laughs> are you wearing shoes? Uh, I, I think I have to wear shoes. I'm not. I'm not wearing shoes. <laughs> I think actually, you might. I wear sandals even though I don't have to. 
And socks. You seem like sandals and socks. No, guy. no, no. You do, no. You do though. That's foolish. <laughs> They're gonna have a calf As high. a sailor, I would suppose <laughs> apart apart from you know the possible splinters, you wouldn't want to wear shoes because mm-hmm. like you know boots would like just slip around everywhere. Right. That's why they that's why they called it boot camp because the young sailors who had never been out there before would show learn. up in their fancy boots and they would just slip and slide and fall over everywhere because they were they didn't know. That's a really interesting fact. Did you know another interesting fact that is I it about to bags? Know? It is about bags. <laughs> I am I am so ready to hear uh, it. Did you know that William Shakespeare was the first person to coin the word luggage in Henry VI? He invented a lot of words. That makes total sense. Mm-hmm. Please tell me more bag facts. <laughs> is it because you unsubscribe bag facts? <laughs> <laughs> I had to get one in. I won't do any more. All right. But he gave me the perfect setup for it. <laughs> just, just save it and use them later. <clears throat> so, uh, what are we doing? We're heading out to talk to the priestess? Well, they're actually called Barracors, but you wouldn't know that. Oh! <laughs> that sounded a little bit condescending, but I'm sure you meant well. No, I mean, he just spends his time on the, on the, on the ships. He's not around all the religious mm-hmm. people like we are. Um, if go. everybody's going to the priestess, then I'm, uh, I'm going to go to the bear core. Yeah, there you Ooh, go. Bear All right, bear. let's go see the bear core. Well, <laughs> on the way in, actually, a few of them are encouraging you to hang out and for the for the for the cook to and celebrate you guys bringing a gift to their get together. Thank you. Okay, absolutely. I can do that then. So uh, yeah, you, you want to do that? I. Got the fish. So well, they keep asking you. Honestly, they're... you keep getting asked about the okay, story. I keep telling the story. Yeah. They're, it's how much bigger does the fish get every time? Despite the, the fact it's sitting it's right, 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 right. right. Um, <laughs> It's as big as an island, and I killed it by looking at it <laughs> by the end of this. <laughs> you, you by talk, the time we got her to the boat, <laughs> you talked it to was me surrounded by 30 sharks. <laughs> Immediately they break out the boat. seawater uh, uh, sea wine, by the way. I okay. think you can get wasted on normal water wine. <laughs> um, I mean, make it definitely dehydrate you. Okay, I'll I'll drink, but not my like guzzling it down. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll drink to be polite. They're, and they're just pleased as punch that humans showed up and aren't dicks. Yeah, aren't dicks and bring <laughs> brought food, and they're like, cool, yeah, yeah. They uh, there are also a lot of them are asking you about the festival. Oh, sure. That, Oh. Tell them in great detail about everything. Tell them about Bub, Pig. Mm. Are they cool with my presence there? Elf? Yeah. Um, he's, they're with, being, he's with me. They're being <laughs> nice, but they're not being overly friendly. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, there's no, like, heated racism going on or anything like that. Are you are you with me, or are you going to see the Barracor? I, I, earlier, my line of joking was that I was going to go along and be the face in the whole Barracor thing, but, uh, you know, I, I would say that I would get talked into staying. Okay. Ori, Ori and Joe drinking and telling stories again. <laughs> okay. There it was. It was the fourth quarter, and we had to kick a really long field goal, and of course we blew it. I mean, I, I have no Anderson. idea what he's talking about. <laughs> he's talking about this thing called Husker football, and our kickers suck real bad. Oh, no, I was talking about the Vikes. They've oh, got a long too. history of bad luck with the kickers. <clears throat> Cut to. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're taken to a, a smaller uh, boat. Well, a lot of these are pontoon boats. This one's um, more Asian style. Uh, if you've ever seen the Shop boats that they have in like Vietnam or something like that. The long boats that um, sink very deep so that they don't rock, but have uh, basically a tent over the middle of it. That's like in the Fifth Element. Yeah, it it, almost exactly like that. Well, that's what they based it on. Yeah, based it on. Yeah, and. uh, the two of you could exactly sit to exactly sit shoulder to shoulder as wide as the whole thing is, you know. But it's very long. They right. take you to one of those. It's near the edge. 
wide and long. Mm-hmm. No, very thin and long. You said wide and long. No, you can sit shoulder to shoulder exactly. Right. That's the whole right. width of it. So, two abreast. Two abreast. Stop, stop making everything suck. <laughs> Phil, punch, punch Patrick. You're going to get off so clean all year with him sitting next to you, Patrick. God damn it. <clears throat> well, I'm not me. Hello there. <clears throat> Who's here? Is anyone aboard? I. Who is this? You brought the man. The uh, man who you initially talked to from shore has brought you all the way here. Uh, before you, uh, before he lets you all the way in, he turns and whispers real quick. She, she's real old Sorry. and a bit of a healer, old school, old here healer of ours. Little hard of hearing. Hey then. I can talk really loud. I'm used to it. Nitma is also very old. Huh? Then maybe you should take point on this one, eh? You want to hit in there? Hi, do you worship Gorm? <laughs> <laughs> that goblin? Yes? Come here, tiny goblin. <laughs> So, all old lady hunchback situations going on, right? Mm-hmm. And you can't tell if it's the size of the tent because you, nobody could stand in this thing. Especially, you know, well, either of you, and she's over six feet herself. Um, it's so cramped in there, they just can't stand it. Boom. <laughs> For every For his own home, just, just I choke will give him you out. a bag fact. <laughs> just choke him out. Challenge accepted. <laughs> no, I don't like this challenge. I don't want any part of that challenge. Both parts of the challenge are off. <laughs> off. <laughs> it's going to be fine. I've Shut up. Punch. <laughs> okay. Uh, Judith Iscariot was the first written person to carry a bag. But she looks very, <laughs> she looks very scoliosis, right? Mm-hmm. Old, old, old person scoliosis. <laughs> but still, I mean, orc elder, their own version of muscular and strong and, well, lean, very strong and sinewy, if you know what I mean. Probably not a lot of fat people on boats. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard life for yeah. sure. I mean, interesting. You're so a hard knock. Hard knock. Oh. For us. It's a hard knock. For us. Static, you kisses! It's like the metal version. <laughs> the. <coughs> Gorm! Don't do this stupid dance! <laughs> You told me to come here, so I thought maybe you wanted the dance. No, 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 no. <laughs> come in, come in. We don't get. Th- hey. <coughs> and what matter of Edger fuck left. all are you two? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Never mind. They say it's crucible. I don't know what he is, but he doesn't. She, eat. she, she puts, she puts her hands on your face. Did they paint a human? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is this Lady Adam Duncan? Sandler? <laughs> Hello there. He is now. Piece of shit car. <laughs> it is my piece of shit, shit car. <laughs> Goat. <laughs> and this is Duncan. He is a water genasi. I had so many of those albums. Hello there. It's very nice to meet you. What? What? Water. Water. Genasi. I was touched by the power of the elements when I was born. It was a stormy night. Well, I've done plenty of touched ones. It's fine. <laughs> I'll speak slower. <laughs> oh, all right then. He's touched. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, tea. I put on tea. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Uh, perception, all three of you. Uh, none for me, thank you. 
19. <clears throat> Nat 1. You could take, <laughs> you could take some hot 18? water to uh, get the salt out of your crevasses. Uh, I actually oil down every night, so... What was yours? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um, natural one. Uh, Steel. Yeah. Instead of washing. Patrick. <laughs> so you. Um, it was. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what you were you doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they can only see your dumb ass. So. <laughs> 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 um. Uh. You just came out of the sun. It was mid afternoon when you guys got here. And it's pretty dark in her little tent thing, so your just eyes haven't adjusted and you don't see anything. There's probably some, you know, like, fumey things from my heated up metal. Also, Radiant you can need? smell, right? Yeah. You can smell, right? Your species? I'm assuming you can. The, um, Do you have a nose? I don't know that he can. I know they can't eat. Can't taste because they don't have a mouth. Yeah. Well, they got a mouth. They don't have nothing an ability to really taste. Oh, it's just like yeah. a... Yeah. Why'd they give him a mouth? It's also it's also kind of smoky in here in general. You guys smell the tea walking in. It's just strong, like like uh, like, and it kind of smells like swamp water. Mm. <laughs> um, I am okay with this. As soon as she asks everyone for tea, you can kind of you can kind of see the guy in the back who brought you in go. <laughs> He's, he's shaking you off. Don't steal. Don't don't steal a second. <laughs> That'll be lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Tara, they're here to talk about Gorm. I heard her. I'll be outside. Go away! <laughs> <laughs> the proper thing here would be to wait for the D and then ask her the questions. No, 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 no. What brings you? You don't smell? They don't smell. Okay. Do you worship Gorm? <laughs> She's nothing what? if not determined. <laughs> what? Garm, do you worship him? Garm, yes. She reaches back and she grabs a mask, a, a bronze mask out of the hanging out of the back of uh, the tent, and she just holds. Garm, Garm, I can't. It doesn't. I mean, I think it was it was made by someone small. It doesn't fit me. But <laughs> is he a good god? It, yeah. He's, he's, he is he is good. He is Lord of the Fire and blah blah blah. Let me say some shit. Uh, <laughs> let me let me check my tablet. Real quick. Lord of the Bronze Mask, eternally vigilant and the Fire Eyes. He is he is sent to us by the uh, dwar dwarves of old to uh, push forward and have us always protect those near us vigilantly. Do you know why? His mask would be on a housing unit. Are you slow too? <laughs> no, I'm just talking really slowly for you because sometimes I talk really fast and sometimes it's really hard for people to understand me. Take it back to what you were doing before. I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why his mask would be on a housing unit? A housing you on someone's house because they 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 worship him. No, what? one of these things. Oh, she just <laughs> she reaches for it. <laughs> she just reaches for it. Don't worry, we'll get it back. <laughs> ah. She, where's my glasses? It's definitely hanging around her neck. Like old, old <laughs> Here, do you want mine? I mean, look, no. <laughs> <laughs> they're right, they're right there. Ah, yes. Yeah. They're definitely different sizes. <laughs> different prescriptions. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> one's like thin and one's like massive and... <laughs> it's Dwarven! Yes, I know, I read it earlier. Oh! It's been a minute. 
Okay, here's your, here's your thing back. Thank bag. you, and she puts it in one of her bags. I'm not going to tell you anything. Why not? There's a human and a silver human and a blue human. Well, you can stay. I'm, I'm not there, by the way. She, she probably doesn't know about me and Phil. Do you want We're not in there. food? That'd be lovely, thank you. I'm so polite. <laughs> <laughs> tea, she starts pouring tea. She gives everybody a cup of tea. Even the guy in the bag just... I don't actually drink it. I just put it to my lips. You guys and glance over real quick. And he's, he's just saying... <sighs> <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> is it, this stench is incredible. <laughs> it's close to your nose. <laughs> it's good for this the, the breathing and your indigestion. <laughs> 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 hands on the canvas behind you and you hear a small sizzle like, uh, yeah, like, the, like, a, like the alien's acid it just yeah. like eats right through I think Crucible I think you and me should go back should let Bigby have a conversation thank you appreciate it, it was Quite nice. It was quite lovely. You're lovely too. I love the makeup. <laughs> Here you go. Your little brother's cute. <laughs> <laughs> little brother's cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bagby. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right, here, won't you? All right, I head back okay. to join these in the festivities. So there I was. This fish was this big. It's actually bigger than that. <laughs> no, no, no. The one that I caught ate this fish <laughs> in one gulp. <laughs> okay, anyway. You know we can see it, right? <laughs> it's called poetic license. <laughs> um, you know, salt aside, this actually isn't half bad. <laughs> Beg me. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you anything either. <laughs> Why not? Because I've seen a lot of youngins like you get in trouble. You're lucky I didn't take that thing and tell everyone to kick you off the boats. No, see, I'm taking it back to my grandma Nitma. Do you know Nitma? You know Nitma, don't you? By everybody rep knows By Nitma. reputation only. God, why does everybody know Nitma? Tell me about her. I don't know. She's... I don't know. It's just what others say. What do they say? Kraz has many things. They, they're always talking. You know how it is. Don't worry. I live there, so yes, I know what they have. Look, I have no intention of using this thing for anything, any of its purposes. I can read the Dwarven. I know that it's a binding spell for a lightning elemental. Well, do you know that there's one in it? Do you know you brought a lightning elemental onto a boat? I did not know that, no. Did you know you could have killed literally everybody? I did not know that, no. And your robot friend in the Genasi, you're probably going to die. Just from being around it? No, no, no. Listen, you get a few ounces of water on that thing, it's gonna... God knows. God knows! It was well, an old, yes, it's one of the old ones. Well, thing is real bad. Well, thank you. Is there a way to open it and free the elemental? Yeah, yeah, do that right now! 
What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't imagine that it's very comfortable in what there. What are you, like six? I'm nine, thank you very much. Well, you act six. <laughs> You're mean. No, I'm old. And I'm tired. And I'm tired, mostly, of your grandma and all those council members doing whatever the hell they feel like. Okay? So I know you came out here for some answers because you're looking for some th something or whatever, but I'm not interested in their politics. Not anymore. You want to talk to somebody who will tell you something, go to talk to that loudmouth Lyra. She'll tell you anything she wants. God, blabbermouth. What if I told you that I wanted to change things? Sweetheart. Sweetheart, look at me. You're very cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're very cute. You're very squishy. I love these, the bags and the, the goggles. You've got a beautiful aesthetic going on here. <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna do great. Okay, don't think I didn't see the Monastery of the Shadow uh, uh, wrist guards, okay? You're very cute. But they will kill you. Go home. Give that shit back to your grandma. Go home. Tell your friends I saw him not drink the tea. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everybody tells me what to do. Nitma tells me to get this and bring it back, but she doesn't tell me why. She doesn't tell me what it is. You won't tell me anything, but you tell me to go home. Ori's dad, who doesn't even know me, tells me to be fine when some weird dude kills me. I am tired Fuck of people no telling me what to do <laughs> and not telling me why. Roll persuasion. Twelve. I'm tied, so I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. All right, kid. It's time for us to retire anyway. You know what you do? You ever use the entrance outside of town? You do not know no. that there is an entrance outside of town. I did not know that there was an entrance outside of town. Go to the northern cliffs. Half a mile north. You'll find them under one of those uh, pass stones y'all use, right? It's big enough for your friends to get through. You take them all down there. See what your grandma thinks about that. And you tell her. Tara said it's time to change the shit. Cause I'm tired. You're mean, but I like you. You're short, and that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and send me some of that fucking fish. I can smell it from here. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Sandler. <laughs> you know, probably uh, probably shouldn't say his name out loud or, or, or mention it, but uh, it's a good thing uh, you know here who isn't here because... I can only imagine him causing all kinds of problems with all these uh, stouter ladies. Although, <laughs> gotta say, the apple didn't fall terribly far from the tree there. <laughs> Oi, you've uh, got a few issues, don't you? <laughs> kind of stare off into space. <laughs> Just a thousand yards there. All right. You guys continue on with the party? Or do you leave right away? Um, they invited us to stay. I'm and fine staying. It'd we'll be fine. rude if we left right away? I mean, you stay forever, fish? But, yeah. I mean, we'll probably do like a, a Tokyo Sayonara at some point. Irish goodbye. Right, yeah, Irish goodbye is what I know. <laughs> it's like an Irish goodbye, 
Except uh, the only person you say goodbye to is the cat. <laughs> <laughs> you are just the worst. <laughs> the, um... Bagby. Hmm? What happened in there? Um, you me. guys could have totally eavesdropped, by the way, if you would like to. Uh, you can both throw perception. Oh. You're just dead bitch. Well, I was talking loudly. She I can't would really hear. I would love to this. Yeah, she can't. She re- legitimately can't hear. And <laughs> <laughs> nine. Not to fight 20. Well, you heard everything. You. You caught that she noticed you didn't drink the tea. Right. <laughs> she did say that part pretty loud. I think I probably could have heard that. Because <laughs> you know. Racist. What? Self-racist. <laughs> you said it's, it's simple anatomy. They're larger ears. You can hear better. <laughs> no, that's not how that works, work but okay. <laughs> That's how it works in the animal kingdom. If that's how that works, <laughs> Prince Charles is a superhero. <laughs> he can probably pick up radio signals. <laughs> All right. Just AM. So we, should, so we should use fire to free the nitro glycerin. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, do we get, or when did we arrive there? Uh, mid-afternoon. Are we going to stay the night, you think? You can be back by sundown, probably. Okay, that, that's kind of what I was thinking we'd do. Just eat and then leave. Yeah, it depends if the wind's blowing that way. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have to do a lot of... I don't... Yeah, I don't want to row the whole way there. <laughs> yeah, I'd pretty, pretty well suck. That'd be all right. Well, uh, we'll play it by ear. Well, <laughs> you <laughs> could sail back, but you have, to do, you'd have to do serpentine. <laughs> all the way. Yeah, yeah. It would take longer. Like double the time, yeah. See how well I do? You need to do really well. Didn't do really well. Got to uh, 11. Uh, yeah, you can't catch the wind at all going back. <laughs> so you're like, either we sit or row. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I, I'm rowing, I guess. <laughs> Athletics? Yeah. Okay. Well, too bad there's not another set of That's oars, not. otherwise I'd help yep. you there, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I like how this fishing fishing boat has one set and you sit in the middle. And you're just like, fuck me, what is this? Uh, what does an eight get me? <laughs> not much. Uh, you're, you're, well... Everyone can tell which arm you masturbate with. Let's just say that. We're just going in a circle. circle. <laughs> I hope you all had your fail because we're going to be here all night long. But it's great because then we have an opportunity to talk about what our next step is. Baby, I think we should do what the priest has said and go to that entrance. Are we all there? And walk in there. You gotta now, have some respect you to here. Do. She's it's called to a bear core. To, to bring humans to Nitma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now here's the. Let alone, I'm not sure those two fit most of the time. <laughs> here's the thing. Give me some butter. <laughs> Nitma. These two pork will kill you all. I'm against that. And she will not think twice. Why would she kill us? Because Halmies are not allowed in Kras. A good thing only one of us is a Halmy. Sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know if some of you would fit down there. Our ceilings are very small. She did say that that entrance was big enough. The entrance, yes, but getting into the actual city yes, how itself. How far we can go? Mm-hmm. Don't know that. Does it? Did all... she ever say that that entrance went directly into the city? Where did she say that entrance went? Well, I mean, it's an entrance, so I would assume that one of the tunnels would go. And she wanted me to bring you to Nitma, and it was in the city, so we would probably end up in the city. Okay, that's Dax. Tracks. Something. I feel like that's I'm a lot high of as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that salt. I, no, I, I, I've been, 
I've been off of that stuff for a while now, but oh, that salt water stuff, that really, that really gets you, gets you, kind of fuckered up. So what are you guys gonna do? Well, there's like, there's some, there's obviously something happening there. We got well, this there's thing. There's definitely things happening. There's an elemental inside that. We got to keep it dry, by the way. Mm-hmm. That's why I have it in one of my bags. It's very protective. This is the first you guys are all hearing of this, by the way. What? The water what now? Why do we got to keep it dry? Water and lightning. Very, very frightening. Me? What What? What does that mean? <laughs> Galileo. Like, like if it gets wet, it explodes. Galileo. Pretty We're gonna much. Gonna be Galileo. Galileo Figaro. Magnifico. It's done. It's done. <laughs> you murdered with a hammer. <laughs> okay. So, but don't you see? There's something bigger here. We can't just let it go. Because what if it's all of our destinies? Eh, any way the wind blow doesn't really matter. <laughs> Bagby. Mm -hmm. Boo! <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, like, destiny, I don't know if that's like... Hold on a really sec, let me throw Ori overboard. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what I was going to say was, I, we all... Promise to help you get this back. He died with a simple oh. <laughs> you know you know more about your grandmother than we do. Do you think it's a better idea obviously the safer idea is just let you take it. Mm -hmm. But do you think it's a better idea for us to do what the old crazy lady said? That one bottle looks like it's about ready to Oh yeah, that one on the top, mm -hmm. on the microwave? The peach is whatever. When you open and close the thing, it was swinging. I don't know if bringing you all down there is a wise plan. I also don't know if giving this back to Netma no questions asked is a wise plan either. Mm -hmm. I, I have an idea. What if you only brought one of us with you and the rest of us waited outside and you had like a conversation with her and like really got her engrossed and then, oh, maybe another one of us shows up and, you know, she's like, oh, okay, one more. That's not really that bad of a thing. And then eventually we just kind of all make our way in Are there. Are you convincing slowly. her to have an orgy? What are you doing? I thought I threw what him off the boat. What if, though, <laughs> you can turn into animals, yes? Well, Yeah. What if you came with me as like a a cat or an animal that I'm like, oh look, I found this really cute little squirrel and it's my friend now and it sits on my shoulder and then you would be there and you would be able to kind of see what it is like, but Nitma wouldn't necessarily know you were a houndy, but you'd be there. Again, I'm, I'm really, I'm really not thinking that term hell me is appropriate, but, you know, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I can do something like that. Um, what would be... I'll uh, give some thought to what would be the uh, best uh, form to take for that there espionage. Spider. So we wait until the next day? Yeah, I mean, we go back. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, but you're we, not we, we, we would get there when we get there. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap label. Yours. I peed on mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that okay with all of you if I sort of start by taking Ori and then test the waters of how mad Nitma would be if any of you came down there? <clears throat> this plan seems to put Ori at risk. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Acceptable losses. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right, it's decided. Now, it's let's a plan. Not infuse Ori and Phil, everybody. <laughs> or Ori and Mind Trap. <laughs> mind Trap's done a lot of psychological damage. He's got to dig out of that hole. I don't mind taking risks. All my friends are dead. Oh my! Oh my. What the fuck, man? Oh, we were. Ori? What the? I thought I was your friend. That was pretty dark. 
Do you need to talk about something with me? Perhaps, maybe, you need to get something off your chest then? No, that's okay. I You're want not you to feel better. Either. I want you to feel better about yourself. Anyway, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor, well, anyway, yeah, I can. Uh, anyway, I can totally help with that. All right, Mayor, give in hand. Never fail you. <laughs> Mayor, skeet, give skeet. In hand. <laughs> yeah. Or you give. You're giving hands. You're, gi You're giving a hand. Never fail you. You're giving a hand and you hope it never fails. You never. Yeah. So you never give, feels you. You never continue to you. be given pe to people because it's. See, I. Heard, hand jobs. We get it. I heard me hurting yeah. hands never fail you and I thought that was a. That's even better. I'm in for that. <laughs> to honor. <laughs> I thought Patrick was gonna do the crucible thing, just fling it at your shoulder. <laughs> Not in my basement, you fucking. Work. <laughs> I'm sure there's been worse spilled. No. Oh, True. That was terrible. Yeah, but we don't Indeed. need to do it on purpose. I... <laughs> Where did the nice chocolate go? Oh, right here. Um, All right then. So uh, you make you make it back to town well past sundown, just because it's not good weather for it. Not good win. It's hard. It's hard getting um, there. They got us here. Do you go straight there? To where she described? I think it would probably be smart to go now because they're just starting to get up. Like my people. Um, All right. I'm going to go with... Like I'm not going to go in, but I'm going to go to the entrance. Are you guys going with as well? Fine. It's your destiny. I don't know what the plan is, though. But all right, then. Okay. Do you guys walk a distance? It's not that far, but... Yeah. Okay. I mean, we might so you exit skip a town. little jog, maybe. So you exit town via that one road to the uh, east. Um, round the cliff face and walk up. It's only a half mile north, but for you, it's probably a three mile walk to get there. So, roughly an hour. Um, you arrive, and sure as shit, there's a small hill near a cliff with, you recognize it as a pass stone. Um, there's dwarven runes along the side, Whew. and if you know the right thing to say, it moves itself and you can get it. And the stone... Is the size of a fucking house. It looks like a boulder sitting along the edge of the cliff. I imagine it's smaller than that. No, honestly, so did I. <clears throat> Roll perception. It's everybody. a big rack. This will be a high check. Modified 20. 19? <clears throat> 18? 19. Only the 20 gets it. That's a big rock. Uh, as you're approaching the rock, you actually look down and see that under the grass and the sand uh, from uh, from the shoreline, um, and it's, yeah, I mean, for you, you can't, they're going to have to help you see through the grass, basically. It's, it's grassland, so it's tall. But because you're closer to the ground, you see that you're walking on some broken cobble. This used to be a road a really long time ago. Which way is the... Well, I guess I don't see it. You don't see it. Yeah, which way is the None road None of us going? do. The road is Surprise. heading... Um, it's coming in from the north towards the rock. So is towards the, the capital? Yep. Okay. I will relay that I see this road coming from... From the capital towards this rock. Uh, Rolf, you never see it. You can't see, figure out what she's talking about. But the rest of you were close enough. Just a bunch. Of as grass. soon as she points it out, you guys are like, "Oh yeah, this does look." Look cool. at that. You can kind of tell this was a road. That's amazing. Oh. So now I'm starting to think that maybe there used to be like a long time ago trade between. And the capital. 
And this was the way that they would come in. Or was it always the capital? Maybe it was something different. Adina Guard, uh, the Adenian Empire has sat uh, in Adina Guard for over 350 years in rule of this area, but Adina Guard technically existed before that. Well, I will try to say the magic word. Do you know, you mm-hmm. know all the pass-throughs to get in. Mm-hmm. The whole thing, <clears throat> it's incredible. Make her see it. Make her see it. Put me do do PPP. Truly a more advanced civilization. The whole... Uh, <laughs> you have to scat. You have to scat to get in past the stones. I, that's what I do. I, I don't have to poop. <laughs> no, 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 that's the one for the chapel. That's not this one. <laughs> I've never seen somebody so proud of their, their fetish before. Scatman Carruthers. <laughs> I'm a scat man! And he just like said it and everyone was proud of him. I don't know. Good for him. Oh, yeah. Uh, the <laughs> so I Patrick can't, can't say that out loud, even though he wants to. So the big old rock it's, opens no, up. No, it's anytime anybody mentions Scatman Crothers when I was in college, we we were stupid in college, but like he wasn't born yet. It's like anybody, oh, 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 if someone would answer, ask a question, the answer was always Scatman Crothers. Oh, okay. So if someone would ask something, you'd go Scatman <laughs> Crothers. Is how you would answer it. <laughs> it's, so anytime I hear Scatman Crothers, I automatically think of that, and nobody <laughs> would understand. People always forget that he was really old and established when he got that song to finally hit. He was he was like. Oh, have you seen the video? He's old. I mean, he's not that old, but he's an older guy. Right? No, he. I think he was like fifties when that video happened right. in ninety nine or whatever. Yeah. Where <laughs> was one? Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Like, he did that shit for a long time and mm-hmm. finally got one hit mm-hmm. way late in his career. So the Rock moves? <laughs> yes, The Rock. He so was the a rock, guest star in the Scooby-Doo? I don't know what you're talking about. The He's Rock, famous. by itself, rolls. <laughs> starts to roll around the hill as if connected to it in a way. And you see an entryway. Uh, again, as tall as a house. Four carts wide can go... Could pull in and out of this thing without worry of hitting each other. All right, I'll say it. I think we can all fit through this hole. I think I can fit through this hole. <laughs> <laughs> and inside, while unused and covered in spider webs and water, there's a road. And not farther down is pillars, torches. Now it go, does go down steadily the entire time. Are the torches lit? Um, no. <clears throat> you can see through the light of the moon basically in, in a little bit. Bagby. Hmm. Do you want us to all go with? I think we'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of the worries. I mean... You know what? Come on down, boys. I'm ready for things to change in Kras. This obviously was a way for films to come downstairs more often. It's time I think we open the borders. I'm going to get myself killed. Yeah. (laughs) Creepy roll. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Take us home to the place we don't belong. <laughs> West, West Virginia! Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> right, you everybody. want to know a place we don't belong? West, West Virginia. Virginia. Uh, Thank you very much for watching tonight. Especially uh, our West everyone. Virginian fans. We'll be back next week. It's nice to see everyone. I think everyone's here again next week, barring mm-hmm. an insta- incident. Mm-hmm. So, um, good night. Good, good night. night. Come back tomorrow. We're going to start our session zero. Yeah. Yeah. Session zero for Cyberpunk starts tomorrow. 
So come back then and watch us. Just uh, character. Uh, I'll be going over how the characters know each other and character creation and stuff like that. Uh, it'll be pretty role playing light, but uh, I don't know. I think it's a new system, so I think it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. We we'll all get to know each other. It'll be nice for everyone. Because mm -hmm. it'll be nice. <laughs> I love Duncan so much. Good night, everybody. Good night.